Well, somebody predicted we might have this e-skip going on. Hi there. And we'll give it a shot anyway, though. And if nobody said it, to we are, you are, uh, all of us are listening to the old two radio network somewhere. You may not find us on your TV, because in case you did not know, we're being brought to you by OTR. Brought to you by 27.085 megahertz. Brought to you by R-A-D-I. The old two radio network. The old Tube Radio Network. Hey, here we are yet again on a uh, Saturday evening. Who would have thunk in the middle or the uh, first quarter of the 21st century? The old Tube Radio Network here in Central California and everywhere else. 27085 Channel 11 is the frequency. Old Tube Radio.net has some audio streaming and uh, there you'll find a link to uh, hopefully some uh, video stuff as well if you're into that. If not, uh, join us on the replay, your old tube radios at the ready. The shortwave listeners are standing by for the roll call, and everything else is uh, up to happenstance. The computers have been reset. The lights are on, although you can't tell them. The sun is still out here in Central California. We're starting our gray line. You'll hear a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of... Somewhere, somehow, DX will try and work around that, or maybe work with it. That's a better way to say it, and we will take your check-ins. Now, it is the new eight-week, is it, uh, I'm looking at my list here. I, is it not? I, I'm, I'm trying to get a confirmation. All right. Charlie says yes. Chet says yes. Oh, what's that? Uh, okay, hold on. Chet's got something for me here. Uh, Oh, okay, we got the good stuff. All right, this is wet. Some type of iced tea, it tastes good. Something from something from Bob and Steve. Thank you, Chet. All right, I will set that over there so I don't lose it. And then uh, Charlie has, do you have the, we got to pick a double zero here. Uh, this is our new eight, you've got it up here. All right, thank you, sir. All right, we have the uh, double zero. Yeah, I mean, nobody's, nobody is hearing me with all this skip. All right, I need to find out who double zero is so I can get uh, started here. Are we doing the, we're doing the M&M thing again. How come this never has, how come I never see these when they have M&Ms? All right, and thanks to 102, uh, John, last eight weeks, doing good. Uh, you're probably in here, so we'll see if we can, see if we can get a, another eight in a row. Here we go, I got to pick fix one of these uh only one only one only one i think i've got only one all right i've got only one let me not spill this all over the place all right that could go over there and we have it is s done this this guy this may be the station that has been swl the uh double zero the most mainly because he's been here for 35 years uh swl 114 wayne rickshaw uh i don't know if you're even out there because you're Way down the list. Hello, Wayne, are you there? All right, well, I'll get him, I'll get him marked in here, um, and he will be interested to know that he is, he is on, on the list of lists. I'm going to make a note of it here. All right, let's continue on. The old Tube Radio Network. 114 is our official uh, SWL double zero. We're getting a check-in for SWL number one, of course. The uh, virtual check-in for uh, Dr. J. SWL 2, Mr. OBP, who is 
uh, out on, I believe you're still there, Kevin, on the video chat. So say hello to Mr. OBP, who says we just may have some interesting conditions tonight if we get the if we get the E clouds. We certainly have the weather for it. SWL3, I'll get a check in for Rob. I believe the carp uh, the carp guys are having the fireworks sale to uh, drum up some money for the club, but I do not know where their uh, fireworks stand is. All right, is this not working? Oops, let's go back to that. It should say checked in, but... It's not going green. All right. Well, so much, so much for the pre-tests. Oh, there it goes. All right. Let's go to uh, SWL seven. Uh, SWL seven here. Uh, hello, OBP. And uh, man, thirty years I've been coming on this uh, network, and I've only been picked once for the double zero. So there you go. Yeah, and you were, uh, let's see, let me check. Yeah, you were in. It shows uh, perfect attendance. Um, th that's why it's so hard to win the lottery. Do you realize that typically you have about a 1 in 50 to a 1 in 30 chance of being double zero? In the lottery, what is it, 1 in 18 million or something? So <laughs> anyway, uh, you, you'll, you'll get double zero before you win the lottery, probably. <laughs> well, got it once anyway, so uh, that that's good. All right, good deal. And I need to, I need to see the ore band meter here to make sure. Uh, it looks like the levels are low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring. And and the thing is, I set all these levels up, and they they seem to change. So we're going to do that. We're going to bring the receive level up a little bit, and then we'll see what works here. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Ed. Let's go over to SWL10. Um, Chrissy up in Idaho, and I did check in, and I think I have a replay of when we come over to, to SWL30. I have to check them in, so um, if you're not on, she may not be on the um, video site yet, but I will get her checked in. We'll have the pretty cool replay of talking to Dwayne. Or my screen is not where it needs to be here. Here we go. Too many, too many windows. Uh, let's go to SWL13. I think my uh, chat pages are working. Yeah, yeah. Albert and the boys are checking in from Squamish, BC. Some other items. We'll get Robert in there. So that part is working. Let's head up to uh, SWL16, of course. Uh, getting us in there. Thank you for. Where is it? This is. What am I? There's got to be, i got to have more room here, but I, and we're not supposed to drink. We're not supposed to have any food in the control area. So that's not bad. It's not real, you know, sometimes it gets too, maybe I'll put it over here. Can I do that? That's pretty dangerous. All right. <laughs> that's good. I like that. All right. Thanks. Um, so uh, we've got Derby, New York is in, and the, I'm sorry, uh, Anoka, Minnesota is in. Um, Derby, New York is in too. Uh, SWL uh, 60, 16 is in, SWL 17. SWL 18, I've got uh, Mr. KDA from uh, Facebook, or whatever it's called now. SWL 19, uh, Chet out in Derby, New York. Thank you for, I was looking, who writes all these up? This is the SWL, whose handwriting is that? Can you tell? The 114, Wayne, it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's it's worse than mine. I don't know who does that, but at least I could read it. Um, all right, thanks for doing that. Let's go to SWL20. Uh, number 20 here. Uh, check in 29 and uh, 54 along with me. And for double zero, I was picked one time. Back in, I believe it was July of 2009, I wasn't here, I was driving to Indiana, and I was somewhere in Nebraska, and I get a phone call from Cliff saying, I'm double zero. So, we held the phone up, 
my phone, well, the, his phone up to the radio, and I kind of checked in that way. I think I remember that. I'm all the uh, remote back when we that was a true remote check-in not like we have now we've got echo links and two-way radios and all that stuff so that was that was the olden days all right well anyway i think you were what does it show yeah you were in the running too you're in you're in the you're in the m&m box so you, maybe in eight weeks you're sounding good the radio sounds good i think you said that you are going to be uh, try to be in the radio room tonight a couple of times when we start checking in radio so we will look forward to that uh, especially this time of year, got to check in my 100% American radios. All right, sounds good. And somebody mentioned it. It looks like it's foggy. It's not. The sun is just enough where it's creating this, um, you know, glow into the camera. That is not fog or smoke. It's just the sun setting. And we have a wind coming up. Uh, we Our temperatures went below 100, so we've got a little cool... A cool front coming in, the winds from the, I think the south, southwest, so barometers down. I think we're not even going to make 90 tomorrow, so we're going to have a nice, we are going to have a nice 4th of July. Thank you, uh, um, who are you? Harvey. Who am I? You're right. See ya. All right, next is SWL21. I do not know, because I often have problems uh, getting the replay. Uh, just because it it always resets, so I thought I had it up and running here. I'm going to see if I can get a replay of the uh, old radio night, which was this scary radio. Let me see if I can find it here. It was called the the Rat Rod. Um, let me get some audio here from the old Radio Night DD21 on the, uh, two, two funky three. Here we go. Let's get some, maybe get some video as well. I think what happens is if he signs off too, so I don't get the replay. Here we go. There it is. Right there, mud bucket, they make it rough on me over here. So let me get on the side there, hey, mud bucket. I'll get back with you in just a minute. If you can, if you can't see the the, the video, it's it's a messenger well, two twenty three. Warren, I think I with a, a, yeah, a skull uh, on the speaker. Radio scary. Yeah. Um, a, Tell us a, about um, it. David Lee was working on it. I had worked on the radio. Actually, I didn't. Well, I did. But after I had a little trouble with it, the volume control got loose on it. Yeah. For some reason or other, and turned one night when i was using it and it shorted out the wires so oh. i put another volume control on it and i couldn't get it to work did some other stuff tested all the tubes checked everything so i sent it off and he had a little video of it he put it on facebook it doesn't have the normal um, volume controls that's for sure and uh had it on the johnson part of facebook and boy they were upset they said that's a piece of crap <laughs> <laughs> that radio's an abomination. It's different. You need to throw that radio away. And I said, well, I didn't tell him it was mine. I said, well, why don't you buy it and throw it away? So after that, I said, oh, well, I'm really going to make them mad now. So I found this skeleton head. Yeah, that's on the speaker. I, I stuck that on there with some alien tape. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know what these, that is. Um, what is that? Uh, gold skulls with red eye knobs off of uh, somewhere. They come out of China. Yeah, and, on, the, uh, on the volume and the skulls. This radio had two holes in it where they tried to mount these switches in there. So I put these, uh, I call them bezels or lenses or whatever, and uh, took the light out of a uh, Johnson Messenger 1, that's what that is. It's too bright, though. i got to put a resistor in it. Oh, yeah, a little pilot light there. And David got the one for the modulation. Yeah, that's below the uh, channel also, selector and next to the mic connector. Where I could calibrate the meter. And, and some of them already have uh, that hole have, there. I didn't even have a hole there. So this was, the, I think, the last version of the 223. <laughs> The, the, the E.F. Johnson, Ed, Edgar Frederick Johnson saw that and he said, we're not Frank, making Frank, these Frank. anymore. 
Anyway, uh, good deal. Thank you, uh, DD21, for the Rat Rod Johnson Abomination Freaky Radio tonight on Old Radio Night. If you want to see that, uh, look up, uh, it's on uh, YouTube, Dirty Diaper 21, the Rat Rod Johnson 223. That's uh, the program that happened moments ago. Continuing roll call over to SWL 22. And SWL 23. I'm like, I think 23 Skidoo will be in. He's probably got um, special duties. You, you know, when you're, when, when you're the historians and one of the historians, you often are asked to speak at engagements and tell, tell people about uh, old radios and stuff. So he'll be back a little bit later. My, my uh, see that? My uh, repop filter is, is falling off. All right. So let's go to SWL 24. Yeah, Foxman 362, that is definitely a hot rod uh, Johnson radio. SWL 25. Let me, uh, oh, you know, before I turn the page, I want to I get to the radios tonight, but I want to see who is uh, in the items here. Let's see. Um, up in the balcony, what is going on up there? Okay. I, I, w- wondered, I, I wondered where... Um, I wondered where uh, uh, Chet went, but he's up in the balcony. Is everything good up there? Okay, just checking things out. <laughs> Looking for popcorn on the floor or something. Uh, who else is in? Uh, Dix, Illinois. Um, the Unknown SWL, Inglewood, Colorado. Dallas, Georgia coming to you. Hello, San Jose. Do we know the way? I hope. Listen out. We might have some weird e-skip going on. Squamish, B.C. is... Uh, where are you guys in the middle tonight? All right, they're... They're getting a good, a good view of everything. Uh, Kerman, hello to you. Hello to Fresno, Fergus Falls, Minnesota. Do we have a temperature for uh, somewhere at or near uh, Fergus Falls? And it's not even giving me... It, it is so obscure that I can't even get a temperature out of Fergus. Okay, out of the 56537 area code. Also, Anoka, Minnesota, Louisville, Kentucky, and the rest, as they say on Gilligan's Island, listening into OTR tonight. Page two, hello, SWL27. It is really good barbecue weather tonight, so if, and it's a weekend, it's a holiday weekend, so who knows? Who knows who might or might not uh, show up on the, the old Tube Radio Network tonight? SWL28. And Gary is in, saying hello, enjoying a barbecue as well. What is it? Uh, Shannon and Chonita have a tickle fight on the picnic blanket. <laughs> All right, well, just just throw the other part of the blanket over the top of them, and and then and then pin, yeah, and do the pin thing. Just just bat the blanket down. You, you know how it goes. You know what to do. All right, uh, Gary is in. We've got a, a proxy check in for uh, Mr. Loner Twenty Nine. And I've got another another kind of long transmission here. SWL30. Let me see if, if he's out and about. Hello, 30. All right, let me do an old buzzard. Let me bring up the uh, replay. SWL30. Here we go. This was uh, this afternoon about an, uh, an hour or so ago. Coming through the speaker here at Old Tube Radio Network. Here we go. That's, that's Dwayne coming through. All right, uh, 30, uh, I hear you. I heard you earlier, and now you're coming in, but you know how it is where we're fighting the entire Earth here. Yeah, it sounds like you're caught the crossfire. Tell that man, man, hello for me if you would. All right, yeah, he's got all sorts of stations. He was big signal. He was five over here in uh, Central California. 30 is in, and I might even have you recorded. Right up. All right, we'll catch you in a bit. All right, sounding good. 30, 33, listening. <laughs> Boy, you are solid in here. All right, keep up the good work, Dennis. We'll talk to you in a bit. All right, nice audio. I've got the recorder going, so we might be able to replay this later. Uh, you're right. 
Yeah, listen to that audio. That great audio from um, uh, Dwayne SWL30 coming in at around the 5 or 6 o'clock hour. Uh, jumping in here on the skip line. Also, Van Man, uh, out of, I think it was Illinois or is it Kentucky? Van Man, if you're there, we heard you. I didn't get a recording, but you were five over S9 on the on the skip zone coming up. 30 is in, SWL 31. SWL 32. SWL 33, uh, myself, Bozo Control and the gang. SWL 34. I'm going to check in for uh, Railroader and uh, Little Toot who are uh, out there uh, near where they make Browning radios back in the day. SWL 35. Uh, I'm thinking if we had some conditions, we would be hearing uh, Bill tonight. We would be hearing from uh, Red Monkey Communications, but Bill is checking in over at oldtuberadio.net from Cool Cheyenne, and we'll see if we can't get him on the on the um, e skip tonight. Hey Joey, there you are. I, I I know you were calling, and I wish I had the recording. You were, and I kid you not, you were the strongest station by far coming in from anywhere. I know I was, I was fighting with Southern California, Northern California, Michigan. You were five over nine. Now, uh, what you heard the playback there, Dwayne, he was about an S7, S8 above the noise. But uh, the van man uh, getting the top uh, the top banana here today on Skip Land. Let's go to uh, SWL 36. SWL 37. Hello, Chris. SWL 37, good evening time, Dennis. Good to hear you. Oh, and likewise, you are sounding good. We'll uh, talk to you when we start glowing in the dark. I can like stick my finger in the wall and start glowing if you want me to do that. That is the non-approved glowing in the dark. We have a better way to do it. Uh, check back with us in about 40 minutes. Uh, so you want me to do the one where I just turn the knob on then, huh? Yeah, exactly. Over, over. <laughs> hey, Dennis. You got it, guy. All right, uh, thanks for checking in. We are listening for, always listening for uh, Sam out in Byron, but we're going to have to have some of that special uh, special skip stuff as well, I think. Over to SWL 39. How about an old tube radio? 709 up in the northwest corner. And we take this pause for 709 in the northwest corner yet again. Welcome back to the old tube radio network. Over, over. All right, 709. I don't know if you're on the B&W. We're streaming live at oldtuberadio.net. You can listen to the replay. It's on the video as well. You're sounding good. Thanks for jumping in, jumping out on the roll call. Uh, give us a call if things keep going. Nice to know the band is open. We'll do, Dennis. We'll do our holler and everybody a little bit later after the check-in somewhere. 709 up north listening. All right, on my less than stellar antenna, you are 10 over. 10 over S9. That's a that's a big signal. Uh, Van Man, the, he put the hurt on you with a with a few more dB. But that's how you said. That's how Van Man. That's how you sounded. Full quieting. Thank you. 709. All right, Dennis. I'm back in the bushes up here. All right, boy. Nice audio and uh, good good sounding radio. I'm I am first of all I'm surprised that anybody can hear this uh, station classified as a mud duck. SWL40 is checking in. Seven. Uh, 785, uh, yeah, is in. Thank you, Larry. Over to SWL 41. And right there, boy, I said 41, and it just popped up on my screen. Mr. Road Dog Audio, staying up late, or is it early, in New York tonight from the Hudson Valley. And he's say, saying a uh, happy uh, Independence Day to one and all. That's right, Monday. It's, it's one of those ones where the holiday falls on a Monday, so we get the, get the three-day weekend getting you checked in. Let's go to SWL 42. SWL 43. SWL 44. 
That's Ray 360. I heard him really well Friday night, last night on the Ditch Banks sideband. Then I mean, the best I've heard him in a long time. I don't know if he's mobile or bass or whatever, but I'm going to get uh, Ray checked in. Sounding good last night. Let's try, uh, Let's. I know it's noisy up there. Let's try up in North Fork, SWL 45. Yeah, maybe I'm working for a while. I think I'm bouncing off the oak tree up there, but you. All right, I have my, I didn't know, I have an oak tree as well. It's a valley oak, and I'm going to try and attach an antenna wire to it. So from oak tree to oak tree, you are sounding good, Paul, and I've got you checked in over, over. Great. Back in over here a little bit, we'll find out what I did to it. I've got the moon record going into a weird position. I mean, I lied, but right now we're happy to be back on. All right, well, maybe we're doing a little moon bounce. The moon is there somewhere, so it's sounding good. We'll uh, see what happens when the sun goes down. Thanks for checking in, and hello to you and Kelly. If you are just listening, if first time tuning in, this is the Old Tube Radio Network, a group of like-minded individuals who uh, like to learn about, talk about their old classic tube radios from about 1959 to 1979 on the on your citizen band radio. My name is Dennis Nick Control. We have been meeting here on this channel, 27085 Channel 11, since the mid-1980s. And we welcome anyone to join. You don't have to have a radio, any numbers, no secret handshake. Just, just show up and join the program, as you will. And we'll uh, catch you. We're streaming at oldtuberadio.net, live at t- uh, 27085, and there's a video going on somewhere. Do not add pictures to radio. It just gets, gets confusing. Let's go to SWL 46. 46 checking in. Good evening, Dennis. And good evening. Sounds like you are at least getting through the first part of the weekend. It's going to be a long one, so uh, take it easy. Yes, sir, you too. Happy Fourth of July. All right. And uh, hey, Dwayne, yeah, did you hear the recording? I wasn't sure if you were listening, but uh, not bad. It just kind of kind of snuck in there. And I heard you earlier because I, you know how I heard you? I was listening... I got a new iPhone thing, an Android phone, my first one, and I was listening in, I was actually in the kitchen, and I, I was listening to old Tube Radio Net, the pre-stream, and it's like, I know that voice, <laughs> and it was like, they're calling for OTR, so I had to run back down in the radio room, join, you know, get through all the stuff here, and that's how I heard you. Uh, let's see, 46 is in, thank you, let's go to SWL 47. Good evening to all from the uh, radio lounge. This is SWL 47 wishing everyone uh, uh, happy almost 4th of July. Um, no, actually, I guess if you uh, if you read history, John Adams, uh, I think he, he it was of his opinion that uh, we'd be celebrating uh, the birth of the nation on, on July 2nd. There's a real famous letter he wrote to his wife, uh, Abigail, uh, saying that July 2nd was when everyone was going to be doing the... Uh, uh, the fireworks and guns and cannons and all that good stuff. But anyways, uh, I guess we're, we're sticking to the fourth. So uh, th- good evening to all. All right, good evening. And uh, you notice, as I have here in Fresno, that the amount of incendiary devices is way less this year than it was last year. So I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're waiting to the fourth finally. But sounding good. We will have a few fireworks of the good kind tonight in the old Tube Radio Network. Hope we won't have that... Uh, <laughs> that bad popping sound. You are sounding good. Thanks for checking in. Thank you. SWL 48. Yeah, Foxman 362. We did a little uh, mouse uh, uh, adjusting. We reset everything on the computer before. I said, you know, do you want to restart? Yeah. So it takes a while, but um, normally I don't need to do that. But so far, so good tonight, keeping our fingers crossed. Let's go to SWL 49. SWL 50. And of course, if you're listening in from afar and can't get to your microphone, we'll take check-ins anytime tonight. As long as, as long as the 6L6 is glowing over there at oldtuberadio.net, that, that means we are on the air. Let's try, and I may have, I haven't been looking at my scroll up the screens, SWL 51, Dave. 
and sometimes he checks in. Sometimes a lot of people check in on the video side. So I do go after the program. I do go up and and check to see if there's anybody I missed that was checking in from near and far out and get them checked in as well. Speaking of near and far out, far out groovy. Yeah. K6 uh, USY. Hello, Aaron. Putting the uh, X in the square from behind the golden mouse. He's back in California, A. Hawaii, Hawaii was too expensive to stay. I, I have never been to Hawaii. I have a brother that's moved to Hawaii, and he said the same thing, but he's figured out how to do it, and I think he says he would like to stay there. So I will, uh, you know, uh, visit there sometime. So if you figure it out, you know, have the have the Hawaii side and have the, the, the West Coast pad, and uh, we'll work you. You know, Hawaii is a good shot on just about any frequency, anywhere, at any time. So, so we'll hear you. All right. Uh, thank you, Aaron. I'm glad to have you back. And thanks for checking in. And I do see a Sam. Let me let me give you the official item of interest out there in Byron. We're having some short skip, but it's the short long skip. So, we'll have to see if we get these sporadic. So. Um, Sam is in. We are looking for SWL 53. Did anybody, did anybody hear Bob early? Did he check in early and I missed it? Go ahead and proxy Bob. Yeah, I'll do that. He's always really good about checking in, so my guess maybe he, he tried to catch me, but there was too much skit. All right, let me go over to page three. Before I do that, I'm going to scroll up and see who's uh, joining us uh, quickly uh, quickly on uh, the video. Of course, OBP. Kenny, I see you. We'll get you checked in. Uh, Cornbread is not checking in uh, again. And it's going to be hard to get. He, he will not get double zero. I'll, I'll pull his number out of the the M M&M container and he will not be double zero for eight weeks i don't know how that works it'll be a, a first uh, operator 133 from pismo beach i checked the temperature this morning in morro bay when it was 75 degrees here it was 59 but it doesn't doesn't say if it's cloudy or not but so uh, i'm sure pismo isn't far behind hello bob s also checking in um, Northern Redneck uh, jumping in. Going to grab a Red Bull from the gas station and try and stay up for the whole show. You know, I, I do this without without Red Bull or, or anything like that. I have whatever this is. Now, it doesn't... I don't think they put any, any special stuff in the guys, but uh, that keeps me going. Actually, all the check-ins keep me going. It's a good thing. Um, Foxman 362... UDX 362 waving out there. Bourbon 497 gypsum. What do tourists do out there in Fresno? That is a good question. You know what they do? They come here to get gas, and then they drive up to Yosemite National Park, which is an hour away. They drive to um, Kings Canyon in Yosemite, some of my or Kings Canyon and Sequoia, and look at the giant old trees. Yosemite's good for rocks. You like rocks, go to Yosemite. You like trees, go to Kings Canyon and Sequoia, another national park an hour away. And there's some other things to do. There's like nature trails and stuff like that. But that's what people, that's what tourists do in Fresno. Or you can, and Google it. It's called the Forest Deer Underground Gardens. That's Fresno's claim to fame, the Underground Gardens. Forest Deer Underground Gardens. I've been there a couple of times. We actually had a radio concert uh, down there. So that's what happens in uh, Fresno, F-R-E-S, capital N, capital O. Let's see, looking. There's Neil. Neil's in. I will try to remember where you are on my list. I always uh, forget. Uh, Levon on the OTS radio saying happy 4th ahead and welcome everyone on the OTR network. And we're uh, saying hello to uh, Captain Robert. Uh, Charlie, SWL16, uh, waving a hand. Let's see, uh, uh, Foxman362 just bought a tube CB off of Flea Bay. Um, it doesn't say what it is. Missing... Oh, I co- the 760K. We have a few of those checked in. The 760K, which was a kit or a not a kit. And a nice radio from early 1959, 1960, I believe. 
Hello to uh, Steve, uh, if I didn't say so, uh, UDX483, Uncle Hairball is in. Um, from his uh, exclusive engagement over at Old Radio Night. Jukebox 502, saying happy 4th in uh, Nine Land. Hope to check you out on, I don't know, 40 meters during the evening. I don't know if you do that. Maybe 10 meters. Uh, bands have been good. Who else is out there? Uh, Rusty Rails. Hello to you. Watching OTR tonight. A van Man is in from his appearance in this radio. Coming to the skip land. And Natural Observation, looking for a Cinch, Cinch Jones plug for the Polycom 2. All right, so anybody know or where you can get those? Maybe they're an eBay thing you can order or something, but you got to know the right thing. So we'll check with Harvey, see if he's got something. And let's see. Okay, i got to continue with the roll call here. I get... I get carried away looking at the messages. We are on page three if you're uh, playing the home game, the new list for the 2nd of July in the old Tube Radio Network. Uh, checking in. Uh, uh, the cosmic check-in for Mr. Bo- Boardjammer. Let's go to, up to SWL 55. SWL 56. Good evening, Dennis and the Net. 56, just for kicks. Hey, sounding good, Phil. Here, Phil is another station that I think has been on our SWL Double Zero list more than once, but that's that's because he's been hanging around, hanging around these parts for a long time. You are sounding good, sir. Thanks for checking it. Oops, I lost my list. SWL Fifty Seven. Uh, 57 is uh, Brown Dog Audio, Central Kentucky. Waiting for the f- waiting for the audio delay to kick in, no doubt. <clears throat> and uh, Golf Sierra Whiskey GSW uh, checking in. Hopefully the audio is doing it. Let me try something here. All right, I got the right control. Uh, we'll do a test. Uh, For those of you who have stereo, all right, we are now over on the left side, I believe. There's your left channel, radio, radio, and there is your right channel, radio, radio. All right, on now, those listening at 27085 shouldn't heard anything different because we haven't figured out how to do do CB stereo yet. Uh, Let's see, we've got SWL58. I will get a check-in from Jeremy. Um, Ron said he actually uh, chatted with uh, 58 on 17 meters, uh, believe it or not. Good deal. SWL59, Uncle Hairball checking in. 786 Ironman is waving a hand from the boonies of South Kakalaki. And you're looking good from the boonies of uh, Central Fresno. Over to SWL60. Uh, thank you much, Air Dennis. SWL60 check in. Uh, before we uh, get out of here, we want to say hello to everyone. Happy Fourth of July. Have a safe one. Watch the kids. SWL60 checking in. Checking in and sounding good. Doing it. Thanks for the reminder to be uh, safe and sane and look out. So far, so good. It seems like people are behaving this year that they wouldn't last year for the uh, kind of illegal stuff. So that should be good. All right. We'll look forward to you maybe making an appearance again when we start glowing in the dark. Thank you, Dennis. Over to SWL61. All right, the skip kind of went away, and they they left us alone. You are sounding good as always. Dino, uh, Copenhagen, we got you checked in. Thank you, sir. Happy fourth, All right, we're going to hopefully get some uh, firecracker radios coming in. SWL 62, uh, North Dakota, sounding good. Uh, Mike, Mike saying, what is a good time on 40 meters? I don't know. From, from here to, to North Dakota... Today the band was horrible. It was just totally shut down. I did a test on the SDRs between San Francisco and Utah, and I couldn't hear myself at all 
on 500 watts. So probably in the late afternoon, the, the 5, 30, 6, 7, 8, that's when uh, Washington, Oregon, Las Vegas, uh, it starts coming in here into Central California. So I think I think it might it might play well on uh, 40. We'll we'll give it a shot. We already you already tried it one time. It sounded pretty good. So we will see what happens. Um, thanks for checking in. SWL 63. Anybody uh, anybody see or hear Butterbean on O R N? If so, I'll get him checked in. I don't see him here tonight. SWL 64. SWL 65. Shortwave listener 66. SW, wait a minute. Foxman says I'm wearing Sony headphones. How do you know? Are these Sonys? These are, yeah. <laughs> you know your stuff. And these are the 70, yeah, the 7506. So, you know, it's kind of, what are they, kind of mediocre. They're okay. They're okay. I was that, or I was going to go for the Sennheiser or the 280s, and I don't know. I did these. What don't I like about them? You know what? I don't, I don't like about them. They're not as comfortable as I thought, as I thought they would be. But they're nice. They sound nice. And so uh, there they are. And at some point they will, like all headphones do, they will just break. They'll just go bad. And I'll have to get some other ones. So we'll see how long I can keep them on, keep them on my head. Let's go to uh, SWL 66. SWL 67, Bill in Canby. I'll get you checked in, Bill, if you're listening. Uh, let's see. We got SWL 68. Up there in New York, are you around, Michael? SWL 69. Kenny from Tulsa was in earlier on the video stream. If you're watching, Kenny, hello. We got you checked in or watching the replay. Let me click that, and it'll say that you are checked in. Let's go to uh, shortwave listener 70. I'll get Mark checked in. He will probably come by mobile. He is still in transit to setting up a station, but boy, he's got a really good spot from his car looking down on the valley. I heard him, was it Wednesday night or Friday night, maybe both, from his mobile station up in the uh, foothills, beaconing down to Fresno. Sounding good. SWL 71 from Dallas, Georgia. Stan is in, and he is on. Oh, Stan's on the video side tonight, checking in. Maybe on the other side? No, then, okay. Well, I, I hear you, or I see you, and you you are there. So we got you checked in. I didn't do much uh, uh, amateur stuff today. I don't even know what contests are on. All I know is 40 meters was in a bad way. Thank you, Stan, for always, always listening in. I think Stan's been a double zero maybe once. SWL 72. Yeah, there's probably fireworks shows going on. I don't hear any. Sometimes at the university, which is about a mile and a half that away, they'll do some special show, and you can hear them. So maybe about 9.30. I'll open the window. Probably about 9 or 9.30 is when they do the the fireworks. But I don't think they're putting on the, the 4th of July show. Otherwise, we might hear some fireworks. Actually, we will hear some. We'll probably hear some of <laughs> the down-the-street illegal guys shooting off near the Buick. Let's go to SWL 73. And I have to see what... I, I don't know what Bob and Steve have in store for us tonight. I know there was... They had the whole place decorated up for 4th of July, so we'll find out what's going on there. Over to SWL 74. I'll get to Miss Jolly uh, Proxy then. I think uh, we're supposed to get, Jerry said, to get them both uh, checked in, which I'll do. Let's try SWL 75. SWL 76. SWL 77. Got it. Got a note to get 1017 proxied in, which I will do. SWL 78. I did see you, Richard, in 
earlier uh, on the video site from uh, Wild Wildemar, where it is probably, probably having a really nice, 4th of July is always good in Southern California. Southern California beaches is the place to be. That's where I grew up. The place to be on 4th of July. Uh, Richard, I got you checked in. And we did hear you. Remember, it's on the uh, stream. Did hear you on 75 meters when we signed out last week. Wasn't very strong. And that was on my 40 meter dipole. <laughs> Standing by for the assignment. I don't know. I don't know what frequency. I don't know what frequency we should be, li be listening to. But your assignment is good. You are here and you are checked in. Let's go to, and I think we might have a winner here. SWL 79. 79, check it in. All right. I, I heard your promises of early that you might be around tonight. So we've got the X and the square sounding. Get a good way to start off on the new eight-week roster. Thank you, sir. And over to SWL 80, 80. And it is that time, once again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for the Bob and Steve segment of the old Sorry about that, talking, uh, talking over Mr. Announcer. Let's put something on the screen that is not me. Oops. Oh, there we go. All right. That's... That should be a little more interesting. Um, okay, tonight, it's uh, episode 122, July 2nd, 2020. That's what two. It's 122 of uh, 722022, the old Tube Radio Network, Bob and Steve saying it's time to celebrate the 4th of July. I agree. Independence Day, the best place to be is right here on OTR. I think I can agree with that. From all of us, the Jingle Singers, myself, Bob and Steve at OTR, be safe and deep and healthy. There's always lots of fireworks here on 27. 085. Oh, <laughs> we'll see how, how the radios are going to behave tonight. Um, they're going to the fireworks and the big, big red limo. I noticed it had not been around much today, so I figured there was a lot of activity as it was driving to the uh, fireworks stands, supporting uh, some of our uh, local radio clubs and some other venues by uh, buying the uh, fireworks from the local stands. Next week, uh, they're going to have a splash contest out in the pool. I, I've practiced with that. I, I made a big splash when that pool went in, uh, uh, but that was unintentional. And you can sign up on the bulletin board in the elevator. It will be fun. At the bar tonight from um, and out by the pool from D.C., the Capitol Burger is set up by the pavilion and in the lounge. Okay, that's what I was... I was smelling something barbecue and it sounded good. Pork chop burger... A great sandwich in 30 minutes. All right, well, that sounds like it's well worth the wait. It is, and it's very nice. The beer is on. But last week it was Steve. Somebody actually asked, what, what was, what's the drink? It was, tea was on Bob and Steve last week, and I've got tea. But the beer is on Bob and Steve, but yet I'm drinking tea. But it's good. I think, I think they know that if I was to drink a beer and try to do OTR, um, bad things would happen. And of course, as we say, yeah, don't forget to feed the fish on uh, your old tube of radio network. Thanks from Ohio. 27.085 OTR channel 11. And we're back in a moment. All right, control room camera. There we go. How is the lighting tonight? Not too bad. So the sun goes down. I think we had the lights messed up last week. I've got the nice whatever. And the radio guy, radio people should never have to uh, worry about lighting. We're on the direct net roll call. We are definitely going to get to the radios. We're on page four for those uh, playing the home game. Uh, checking in SWL81. Um, let's try uh, also SWL82. 82, checking in from the ditch banks of Biowa. Good evening. You are sounding good in the AM mode. Uh, sounding good last night in the, when I could hear you, when you weren't being clobbered by Skipland on uh, old radio night, which is Friday nights, channel 36, uh, uh, what is it, 27365, lower side band. Uh, come one, come all. There's a roll call, but uh, it does ask for uh, visitors after the net, and if the skip is in, there's a lot of people here locally that would like to chat with you. So anyway, sounding good. D any more contacts with uh, with 57 um, on 17 meters or elsewhere? Uh, 
Uh, no more contacts with uh, 58 Jeremy, just that uh, one contact. He was driving from Tennessee to Nebraska, and I think he was two hours from uh, being in Nebraska. So got to talk to him on the mobile, and uh, that was pretty good, pretty good. And that was on, uh, yeah, 17 meters, so that was good, pretty neat. And uh, thanks, everybody, for being patient with me Friday night. A lot of skip coming in. So thanks again, and uh, have a good one. All right. Uh, likewise, uh, sounding good. Thanks, Ron. I mean, do enjoy the Friday night sideband. That's good time, uh, good net. Check it out, won't you? Let's see. Hello to DH Outdoors. Uh, who else is also in here coming in? Tonight, uh, 33 Hillbilly Break Break saying good evening and having a great Independence Day. And not, wow, this is like a triple play on the uh, on the radio celebrities joining us tonight on uh, the old Tube Radio Network. Triple play. Uh, Uncle Gunter out there, uh, one nice voice. Uh, happy 4th of July into OTR land. Uncle Gunter, thanks for joining us. Another celebrity, um, audio guy extraordinaire, Jay is in, says velour is the way to go. Yeah, that's all I need is a velour. I could wear my turtleneck. I could do my turtleneck in the middle of July. And I'd, I'd look like, uh, well, I don't know, maybe I'd look more like Mo Rocca or, uh, Mo Rocca or not. But anyway, Jay, hello to you. Glad to have you uh, joining us tonight. And uh, let's see, super celebrity number three, Super Loop. Greg is in saying uh, happy 4th of July weekend, everyone. Sounds like the Internet is working. And the DX Cloud, we, we got some check-ins from uh, Idaho, Washington, and you just never know. We are going to see what we can do. And the first thing, I want to get through the roll call here. Let's go over to SWL83. And the break OTR. I'm looking. I'm looking at page two. Go ahead. Fifty check in. All right. I, I know. I know that uh, eagle anywhere. Fifty is in. The check is there, and you're sounding good. Thanks. All righty. Thanks. Have a great evening. All right, and we will. All right. Let's go to the voice. Of uh, the noon time, one of the voices I should say of the uh, Jefferson noon time net SWL eighty four. Audio is a little low, but I copied that 100%. Yeah, I, I am amazed how well you guys do. You've got a great system hooked up. Uh, so when the band conditions are lousy, like they have been, you've got various relay check-ins. So it makes it nice, and everybody can get to checked in if they can be heard somewhere. So it's a, it's a tough job when you're coordinating that kind of stuff, but always always sounding good. So we got you checked in, and we will get the ladies coming up. Thanks. Um, that would be SWL 86, uh, shortwave listener 87, and SWL 88 in the order of appearance. Your uh, Mountain Maid, Tandy Girl, and the Snowy Owl. Looking for SWL 89. SWL 90. Let's head over, way over, way, well, let's go, go east, go, go left, young man, or wherever is it, to my, uh, actually, it's to my, it is to my left, SWL 91, Felix is in, saying hello to all the SWLs and the old tube radio operators tonight, wishing them a very good Independence Day, thank you, Felix. And you've got some fire, I don't know where you find all these little uh, icon things, meme things, with, the, I, with found a firecracker. I have trouble just finding my little name tag on that, so... And now I've got an Android phone I've got to figure out. SWL 92. Let's go to 95, Warthog 95, out there in uh, Foreland, Orlando, Florida. 
where was the station I talked to late on? No, it was in Texas. I thought it was a Florida station, but it wasn't. So we will see. Anyway, you are sounding good there in 95, I guess. Or if, if I was to hear you, you, you are sounding good. And uh, we've got you checked in uh, all the way from Orlando. And, and um, you know, sometimes you just got to be careful. Aaron has found, I think he bought that big pack. What is, what is the pack they sell for like hundreds of dollars at the fireworks stand? Uh, Aaron has found that, and he's, he's, he's lighting them up here for the old Tube Radio Network tonight. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Aaron. Let's go to SWL 96. All right, sounding good from Kerman tonight. I'm glad we can work direct. It got nice and quiet, and a happy 4th of July right back. Thanks for checking in. Next, we've got SWL 97. This is uh, Jim out in Boston. We're listening for Boston 97 on the delay. Let's go to SWL 98. All right, Tracy. You know, Tracy, I didn't hear you last night. If you were in there, I did not hear you last night on uh, the Ditch Bank's side band. And that I was trying to, curious to see how you would sound. But you're checking in on YouTube, and you are looking good there. So we got you checked in. Not sure if you can hear me. It, it is quiet now, but you know, you're probably listening on the AM side. I'm, I'm always, always a little bit weak with the AM modulation. Thanks for checking in. Let's go to SWL 100. I'll get Tony Proxy then. Sometimes he checks in on the Echo Link. And I, ooh, do I have it up? It's up, but we're not linked linked. But I think we're able to be linked, if that makes any sense. So uh, anybody wants to try that might might be able to do that. Tony's in SW102. Uh, looking good on our last eight weeks. And uh, John, you gave it the shot. See if you get in, in double zero yet again. But uh, anyway, you need you need the days off. So uh, go out and have some good stuff. Got uh, John checked in. Let's go to SWL 103. You know, DH Outdoors, we had uh, Illinois stations checking in this, or not checking in, but uh, making it through this afternoon, about 5 o'clock. It just all of a sudden came up. So that might be a good time to check if the uh, band is opening up. Let's go to, um, no, not on 11 meters. This is uh, on, on uh, the regular, you got to have, uh, I'm talking to uh, DH Outdoors. Our Echo Link is set up for those with uh, those licensed amateur radio operators that have that system. And I can link it in here on the audio. Let's go to SWL 109. Checking in. All right, the fireworks displays are looking good in Albury tonight. Boy, you sound as awesome on AM as you do on sideband on that radio. Sounding good, and we've got you checked in. Thank you, Dennis. All right, well, for those who need some fireworks, I think we just had them. Doing a good job. All right, let's go over to SWL 110. And John, I've got you checked in, and I see your post. So uh, thanks for uh, taking some time out to uh, join us and say hello. And um, thinking about you guys down there, and uh, hopefully you will be uh, able to do what you need to do. So thanks for joining us, and uh, definitely understand. This station, 111 out of Reedley, who who made it into my uh, two-meter crossband for one transmission and then totally faded away. But I did hear you, Robert, if you're listening, so I got you uh, checked in from uh, Reedley or wherever you were checking in from on the on the two-meter link. SWL 113.
SWL 114. 114, checking in. All right, 114, and we'll we'll do a long transmission here. SWL 114. Your name came up at the beginning of the program, at the beginning of the net, when it turns out uh, indeed 114 was uh, was the number pulled out of the M and M container. Not for M&Ms, but for double zero. So uh, we've got you in double zero. We've got you in at 114. We we mentioned that you may be the the one station that has been double zero the most. But that <laughs> I don't know how many times that is. I think it's more than once. But that's what happens when you are uh, pretty much in the uh, air chair for uh, what 35 years or so uh, checking into the old tube radio network. Anyway, you are sounding good, and we've got you checked in, and we've got you checked in. Hi, thank you, Dennis. I will be listening for Double Zero next week. Thank you. All right. Well, hopefully we're spreading some of that luck. So if you have other numbers that you <laughs> you use, maybe you can be a winner with those two. All right. Uh, let's go over to SWL 128. And let me see if um, John has checked in on old2radio.net. And yes, he has. Uh, wishing everyone a safe safe. And a happy 4th of July out there from Fairfax, Virginia. Thank you for that. Let's go to SWL 131. Shortwave listener 133. All right, boy, right in my noise, Dave, but I've got you. 133 is checked in. Thanks for listening tonight. Let's go to shortwave listener 135. Okay, uh, uh, SWL 135, uh, checking in. Can you hear me okay, Dennis? I can hear you okay, Cliff. Over. Okay, roger, roger. I just want to make sure I can get this one through. Yeah, sounds good. We will be... I will be. All of us will be interested to see what you got. Nice, clear audio, uh, perfect for your yayem pleasure. Mr. Green Arrow is in. SWL 137. SWL 145. That's Tony up in Coarse Gold. Hey, good evening, Dennis. Dennis, it's Tony 145. Dennis, I just want to let you know I'll be running the morning net on Monday for the next two weeks. All right, um, so are you doing Fridays, so Fridays and Mondays? Yeah, Roger, Roger, Friday and Monday, double feeding uh, for a couple of weeks. Okay, good deal. I just got some new fangled phonium thing, so I haven't got it set up for the Echo Link yet. So I did not get a chance to check in on Friday, but now, as you said, I might have another... Well, I can check in. You can check in at any morning on the early risers net, but I may have a chance, uh, if I get things configured, to try it on Monday as well. All right, thanks, and you're sounding good. All uh, right, thank you, Dana. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. Be safe out there. We got the Mountain Amateur Club uh, running the red flag patrols. We're all members of the group are all right along. I'm looking for people being uh, careless. Yeah, and uh, like I mentioned earlier, I think people are definitely behaving a little bit more, at least down here in Fresno. I'm not hearing as many explosions like we have for the last couple of years, so uh, hopefully everything will be okay up there because they definitely don't want some fires. I know there was a uh, a small fire near Auberry, which I think they got contained we lost some power up at the transmitter the other day and that could have been due to the fire so thanks for uh, the efforts up that way to keep everything safe all right thanks tony up in uh, course gold sounding good tonight let's go over to swl 147 neil out of Fay- fayetteville north carolina he is checking in the weather is hot and humid as one might expect for July in North Carolina. We are hot and not so humid, and it was cooler today. Not even going to make 90 degrees tomorrow. It's going to be a great day. Um, uh, pretty good conditions, according to uh, Neil. Really hot at times, then drops out suddenly. That, that's what happened, as you can hear on the replay. 
you're just sitting there and all of a sudden, you know, Van Man comes in at five over nine and here comes here comes Dwayne and here comes seven oh nine and then five minutes later they are either gone or off somewhere else. Almost like reminds me of six meters. So sounding good. All right. Well, thanks, uh, uh, Neil, f for stopping by, and then we will have a safe and cool Fourth of July. Over to SWL 188. Good evening, time, Dennis. Good evening, time, to all the SWLs listening in, near and far. Happy Fourth of July weekend. 188 Snowbees checking in. All right, sounding good. I think I saw your uh, post there up on the video side and sounding good here on the audio side as well. Thanks for checking in. 10-4, and Bill was out there about a half hour before everything got started. He had a little bit of conditions, but uh, I don't think he was able to make the trip once it uh, came down to his number. Okay, yeah, and I was in and out. I had the radio, uh, the, the listening. I was listening remotely from the other room because I had some other things to do, and I managed to hear... Van man and come in and hear Dwayne, but I probably missed, uh, probably wasn't listening well enough to hear Bill, but he's checked in before. He's got a great station. You know, Red Monkey Communications knows how to get uh, the signal out on the air, so we'll be, uh, we'll be listening in, and we've got plenty of time in cycle 25. He'll be a regular out here. Thanks for uh, picking that up. 10 4, good evening time. Okay, let's let's go up to Corsicle. Now, here's another station that I think's been double zero uh, a couple of times in his OTR career. SWO 195. 195, checking in, Dennis, and uh, I hope everybody has a safe and sane Fourth of July. So far, so good. We've got people out there making sure that it happens and. We're going to try to do some some fireworks here tonight, checking in some radios, but the good kind. You are sounding good, and we've got you checked in. Thank you, Dennis. All right, over to SWL 226. And that is Mr. Shockwave. Somebody said give Shockwave a proxy. I think, was he in? Did we hear him last night on a Friday night? Maybe. It may be. All right, anybody else? Anybody else? And then I'm going to jump out, and we're going to get set up for the two radios and see what we've got. All right, uh, who said it? Uh, Joey, you got to love Mother Nature. We'll see what Mother Nature does for us coming up here as we're checking in radios. I'm going to jump out, get things set up for the tube radios. I'll be back in a couple of minutes, and then we will have your real radios glowing in the dark. This is the old tube radio network.
Where do you think it's happening, the old Tube Radio Network? You may not find us on your TV, because in case you did not know, we're being brought to you by OTR. Brought to you by 27.085 megahertz. Brought to you by R-A-D-I. The old Tube Radio Network. All right, well, there you go. The uh, voice of Stan Freeberg, Billy Mays Orchestra, and X4000 doing the announcing there for the opening uh, song, or whatever you want to call it, the fanfare to get us into the old tube radio network. Uh, Dennis back in the air chair here in the uh, seersucker suit tonight, the pocket protector. I do have... I do have our sponsor tonight. Let's get that out of the way. We have compliments of D&J Radio Sales, 228 North Merriam, three, Thief River. We have three rivers, but this is Thief River Falls, Minnesota, in the 216 area code. Let's go to the uh, crappy <laughs> the crappy close-up cam and see if we can see what that is. Yeah, okay, there it is. It's the D and right in front of the light there, D&J Radio Sales out there in wherever, wherever they were. Um, uh, Thief Falls, Minnesota. Thank you, and let me get you into the pocket protector tonight. I've got the list, the radio list for uh, July 2nd, 2022. I just, I laugh when I say that because we were doing this in 1987 on July whatever. So here we still are having a good time. Hopefully there is something around. Uh, somebody was lamenting on Facebook about about they they had been away from 11 meters for ever, you know, years and years and years, and they came back and they said, well, "What happened?" It's like, yeah, what happened? Well, the, this this is the the place to sort of think. Well, here's what was happening. So this this is the flavor for for those who weren't around in, in the heyday. Um, this is going to be the sound of, of what it was like. I hope as we uh, listen to the tube radio operators and the and the tube radios, and you can tell everyone's demeanor is is a, to to come out and have a good time and chat. You know, like you're out in the front porch, the way CB I think wasn't meant to be by the FCC, but the way it turned in. It turned out, and we're we're glad for that. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop talking. We want to check in some radios. OTR is listening. Uh, one three five. One three five. Okay, uh, one thirty five. I hear you, Cliff. Step up up into the air chair, but don't take a transmission just yet. I think there was another one. Was that forty five over? That's correct. Forty five. All right, Paul, you'll be radio number two. There's a spot for you in the green room, and we'll catch you here in a couple of minutes. Glad you could join us um, right now at the official time of 9.18 Pacific Daylight Time, or was it 05.18? So uh, somebody's, up, somebody's up early listening to us. Who's out there? Who's out there tonight? Uh, the boys from Squamish are still in. Louisville, Kentucky is in. So is Inez, Kentucky. Oh, you know what? I've got a... Uh, before I get to you, Cliff, I have a problem going on here with... Uh, with a tea glass, it is it is doing the condensation thing because all the ice is melted, and now we have a big puddle. Oh, thank you. All right, they've got a <laughs> right over the top. Got a, a really neat coaster. Where did you find that? It is is this from our mid-century modern department? Charlie just brought me this kind of wooden. It doesn't have any name on it, but it's a little uh, wooden coaster that I'm going to put under the glass so we don't. All right, so we don't mess stuff up. All right, uh, sorry about that. Hello, Cliff, over. Uh, hello, Dennis, over. All right, I am, I have got to find my list. Fell on off the stuff here. All right, I'm ready and radio. You sound great. Uh, hopefully, whatever you have is in our um, Rolodex files, and we'll find out about it. But you will tell us about it, and we will hear it. So uh, go ahead, over. Okay. Uh, just making sure I'm reasonably on frequency, looking at all the meters and all the lights and everything else that's happening uh, out here in Radioland. Uh, all right, uh, this is um, from Chicago, Illinois, and it, the, it is the B&K Mark Cobra Cam 88. 
That is a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, that's an awful lot of stuff to say for one radio. Um, let's see, there are ten tubes in this thing, and I'm on channel 11, according to everything I've got going on here. Uh, is it still working? Still working, sounds good. No wonder. All right. It's got that nice, clear audio. It's not excessively anything on the uh, frequency response. It's just really true really true to your voice and nice and punchy. So uh, there is our uh, classic shot of the two um, Cam 88s from, from Mark N5RPZ, one with the mod light and the switch and one without the mod light, or one with the mod light and the other switch. And so it is good. I'll check your frequency at some point. Uh, audio is good. I'll put the S meter up to see also how much forward movement there is. But, but take a transmission. Tell us about the Cobra Cam 88. How long has that been on your radio shelf? Uh, has it been a year yet? I don't think it's quite been a whole year yet. Uh, this is uh, the the latest addition to the radio collection. Audio. Uh, you know, I should have a little bit of forward movement, uh, hopefully. Uh, oh, uh, well, and the microphone helping it do that is a, um, a Gray Bass Amplified D104. And the Dyna Boost uh, switch uh, that you sort of mentioned earlier is on. Uh, it says Dyna Boost right underneath the modulation light. I'm going to switch it off real quick. Uh, okay, there, uh, Dyna Boost. Hello, Dyna Boost is off. A one, two, three, four, five. And now Dyna Boost is back on. A one, two, three, four, five. Uh, did it make much of a difference? Over. What's the song? Dyna, won't you boost? Dyna, won't you boost? In fact, I'm gonna. I had set my incoming audio stream level using the Orban uh, LKFS meter, and I think I set it too high because you were you were booming through. So we got the S meter on that one. If you watch the replay, you will see that you were uh, putting a good 6 dB of uh, forward uh, movement. Uh, from, what was it, S8 or S9 to coming up. So good. Nice, clear audio. I didn't check the frequency yet. Let's go back to the close-up. And there is the uh, front screen, modulation light, and the, the the switch that you're talking about, is is it under? Well, there's two switches. No, there's only one. So it's the one under the mod light, right? Uh, correct. Uh, it's, it's directly under the mod light. Um, so I wish I could get a picture of this one uh, available up there. Because uh, mine very clearly is printed Dyna, D-Y-N-A, Boost. Um, uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's because, it's, uh, let's see, no, I don't have a lot of light out here. I am at the CB Cabana in the dark, more or less. And uh, weren't these, uh, uh, yeah, it's down here at the bottom, uh, Dynascan. These are made by Dynascan, so I guess that's why they called it the Dyna Boost. Um, as opposed to the range boost and range expand and whatever everybody else was calling it. It's the same thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, it should say uh, directly underneath the mod light, it should say Dyna Boost, and there's an up and down switch. Yes, and, and in fact, on this one, you can look like it's almost Photoshopped out, like they erased... <laughs> The letters off. I don't know if it's, you know, it's like a Windex thing or if somebody tried to clean it or if that's some Photoshop thing, but you can just see that something's been altered. Um, but sounding good on the audio, B&K, uh, Dynascan, Cobra. I don't know if that was their last or one of their last uh, tube radios. Oh, for, I've opened the window behind me, so if there's any... Uh, uh, independent celebrations that are close by, we should hear them. See if they make it through the noise gate. I usually have the noise gate set pretty heavy because this room was noisy. But if you hear something like this, making it through the noise gate, it was close. So uh, here we are um, doing it good. All right, back to you. Um, do, do, if you. I don't know. Did you want to check anything uh, microphone-wise? I. It's that's that's the microphone to use. But if you've got something you want to test, go ahead. Uh, no, I kind of already did that. Uh, I, I, I I can't wait to hear uh, the difference between Dyna Boost on and off. Uh, so. Um, that, 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 that's, that's the big test for tonight. See, all 23 channels, and it's working, and uh, if, if my audio is good, uh, things look okay on the meter. Oops, try again. I had some settings wrong, so uh, take another... Oh, you only need like a 5 or 10 second transmission. I will get it. Okay. Sorry about that. 
now that I was just looking Ooh. at my uh, freaky meter, and it's uh, flipping between four and five. But it, 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 it looks like I, I must be close enough uh, to be getting into OTR, the Saturday night place to be. Hey, um, uh, so how's that? It's perfect, 2708.4.5, plus or minus some extra. So uh, dot five is good, 500 cycles. That's within the, um, what, did the FCC allowed 700 either way, I think, of, of the center uh, crystal frequency, so you're good. Audio is great. Uh, you're getting some good comments from the uh, SWLs about the uh, good sound of the audio, the D104. Um, and I, I try to patch, I patch the audio directly out of the radio, and it goes into maybe a, just a, a slight noise gate, because sometimes you'll hear the background noise go down. No no filtering per se or anything like that, and then back out to you. So what I hear is what you hear as well and what anybody would hear if they were listening in for the SWLs who are joining us via audio or video. So if you're hearing it and if it does sound good, it's because it is good. Uh, back to you for a... Um, uh, Transmission, someone's saying, yeah, a huge difference. We didn't address the uh, uh, range boost, uh, but a big difference. Um, it would be, I mean, you go from, you know, your 100% modulation down to about half of that. So, but it still, it still sounds good. It's just weak. Over. Okay, well, I'll just, I'll just leave it on. And, um, yeah, I just got to say the receiver on this thing is great, too. Uh, that little center... Uh, rectangular speaker doesn't look like much but everybody sounds just great on it you sound great on it and um uh i i i, I hope the transmit audio sounds good as well uh i'm going to do uh, uh, oh uh, yeah you, i wanted to i think these were made in 64 or 65 i'm not sure about that um and what's the other thing oh yeah I, you know it's it's fourth of july happy fourth of july everybody a couple of days ahead of time um but uh, um, uh, I think it's an American-made radio. Um, I know B&K and all that, I think, switched out sometime in the 70s, but these were, these were pretty early. So I'm, I'm going to say I think it was made in Chicago, Illinois, but I'm not sure if anybody can verify that. That'd be great. Because, uh, you know, in honor of Fourth of July, I'm doing American radios tonight. And uh, uh, the next one's going to be definitely an American radio. But I'm, I'm not all that 100% sure on this one. Back to you. Yeah, from that time, I don't think they'd farmed them out yet. And, yeah, the radio made from Chicago. Uh, Cliff is in uh, Fresno, probably about uh, three miles or so to the north and the east, the wet north and west of me, putting in a, a very de decent signal. If band is quiet, as you can hear, there's no skip going on, but that doesn't mean we are definitely past our gray line, but the, the gray line for the Pacific is coming up at any moment. Uh, sounding good, it is our first radio starting off. Uh, that is definitely a daily driver if you wanted to do it. Oh, how many, do you know how many tubes? I just checked my my little Rolodex file, and it is not telling me, it is not telling me anything about the tube complement, nor where you might find it in which Sam's photo fax over. Okay, I uh, guess in reverse order, uh, Sam's nine, I believe it's, it's uh, uh, num number nine, number nine, uh, and I'm pretty sure earlier I said uh, ten tubes. I, I'm almost certain it's ten tubes. Um, if I was able to count correctly. All right, but of course that would mean that the net controller would, would have, have to have been listening. So nine on the book, if you're looking at the uh, Sam's photo facts, and 10 on the tubes, which is pretty standard for those radios. I mean, you get some of them like the Hallicrafters that have seven. You think, what do they do? Was it Madman Munts getting in there, throwing the tubes out? And some of them you get 12 or 13, but that's typically like the Imperial where they've got a product detector or something that gets that extra tube. Sounding good, our first radio of the evening uh, on the old Tube Radio Network with the Cobra Cam 88. Uh, Paul is stepping up from the green room, but uh, before he comes in, I want you to take another transmission, and thanks for bringing it by. Yeah, and with all 10 of those tubes, it still runs uh, amazingly cool. It's uh, this, this radio does not get, like, real hot or anything like that. It just... Kind of a nice, warm, uh, good old tube radio kind of temperature. Uh, ideal uh, for uh, having long conversations late at night. Uh, thanks for letting me check it in. I haven't checked it in in a while. Uh, uh, we'll catch you in a bit. I, let's see, i got one more radio I'm going to do later. 
um, real quick, and uh, I'll see you then. All right, uh, sounding good. Um, who is the break station? All right, two of you, I've got a late check-in for SWL 70. Mark, I have you. Uh, sounding good from your uh, mobile location. I got you checked in. And then I think the other station was Harvey. Go ahead, over. Yeah. Uh, just line me up after whomever. All right, you will be radio number three, stepping up into the air chair. And now is... Um, as uh, Paul SWL 45 we've got the jingle singers they are basically here to say hello to a couple of, of uh, other this is radio celebrity tonight I want to say hello to uh, Skippy how are you sounding good and also uh, from beautiful Lake Almanor where is the um, where, where's my shot here uh, that's not what I want this is what I want where and you can't even see it Powered by, let me put the push to talk on here. Powered by Voodoo Labs. There it is. I'm trying to do my best voodoo tonight out of the Wheatstone. So the uh, jingle singers coming up to say hello radio and a tip of the hat to some uh, special SWLs tuning in tonight. We'll be, uh, Paul, we'll be right with you on the radios. Don't go away on the old tube radio network. You may not find us on your TV because in case you did not know. Brought to you by OTR. Brought to you by 27.085 megahertz. Brought to you by R-A-D-I-R. The old tube radio network. Wow. I, I didn't expect them. I, I didn't expect them to be doing that one, so we will see. All right, Paul, uh, it is your turn. If you can hear me up there in North Fork, take a transmission over, over. Okay. Nice, I'll tell you. I take him over. He would have been reliable radio. It's by T Berry T twenty three channel. All right, T Berry. You know there was a radio by that name, and I think there was also a, a gum by that name. The T Berry Shuffle. Uh, the T Berry T. Is that the twenty three channel or the 40, 40 channel model? Over. That is the twenty three channel. All right, I'm not sure which one is rare or not, because obviously the uh, 23 channel model would have been uh, built up until 1976. Here's one courtesy of uh, Steve Burnham. It's a model 23, right on 23 channels. The T-Berry, of course, uh, this model, one of the Panasonic, second Panasonic chassis with the beautiful plate modulation, always sounding good. Uh, looks like a cool radio. I wish I had one back in the day. Take a transmission. Well, you're kind of good, too, yeah. It's been a long time. I think I found some problems there. I hope it stays, it stays good. Anyway, this is T-Berry Electronic Corporation, Indianapolis, USA, manufactured in Japan by Panasonic. It's in a Sam 54. The radio has 10 tubes, 23 crystal control cells, Space between 20 and 23 for probably channel 24, which is not in here. On the front, it has a normal scroll, off and on, volume control, range, kick, bar, life, the normal front, life, and all of it is free. Anyway, uh, so stay here, stay in your head, and if you're the same thing, go with it. Thank you. All right, and you know, the T Berry actually got a lot of. of uh, Front end accoutrements similar to the Robin. It's got the TX light, the RX light, the mod light. I don't see some of the switches, but it's got the PACB and the fine tune. And then uh, when they went uh, to the 40 channel, that would have been the model. It would be akin to like the T240D. Yeah, 10 tubes I'm seeing, like you said, on the CB54. If you've got the Sam's Photofax, and that's got the classic. Uh, 12 uh, AX7 in the uh, audio department, and I think it's a 6BQ5 on the final. So always, always sounds good. It does a good job. And you know, I I really like a radio that makes me sound good as well. Over, over. Yeah, okay. This does have the range gain on the thing. I turned it off there. That make any difference? Well, let's see. I don't. I didn't notice much difference on the range gain, so maybe it's stuck in some position. Uh, try it again. Okay, well, I turn it back on. It makes quite a difference on a meter. 
Oop. Okay, no big difference. Big difference. Um, so we'll make sure it stays. I think the switch might be a little uh, need a little exercising there, but definitely need to have that range boost on. Then take a transmission, make sure it's stuck. Okay, this is on, and this is off right here. Anyway, I'm ready to buy my controller. The aesthetic EMD 107. Of course, I don't have this soft my controller this thing, but it needs a little help on there, so I think maybe the pan is off status. We'll take care of that. Back to you. All right, back to me in the studio. Sounding good. One of our listeners said they spoke with uh, someone on a T-Berry Model T40 channel uh, earlier in the day. Another listener says uh, they've got the uh, Big T23 channel at dual power. Another station mentioning... You're bringing out some good memories here, Paul. Another station uh, mentioning that that was their uh, first uh, first radio to get on the air with. And I, I have a feeling that there was a lot of uh, first radios on this uh, T-Berry Model T. I think it was a good... I don't have the price point, but I think it was a good price point and definitely a good radio. Still working here in the 21st century. It's our second radio of the evening, uh, the T-Berry Model T. Take another transmission, Paul. Thanks for uh, bringing it by on the old Tube Radio Network. Well, thanks for you for checking it in. Hope to get my old arrows back on the air now. If things stay like they are. I think the honest term, maybe he has just give us a break. I don't know what you're thinking of that. Uh, we'll see. I kind of thought we might have another uh, e-skip gray line thing coming in and get some northwest propagation, but I'm waiting. And the main thing is I do want to get the radios checked in tonight on our Independence Day version of the old Tube Radio Network. The Jingle Singers are ready to go. We'll be back in a moment or two. <laughs> How do you do? Ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you. Wherever you are, your favorite spot on the dial by far is known to you as OTR, the Old Tube Radio Network. The station for you is OTR. And we are listening for radio number three. Well, hold on one, uh, Harvey. Who was the break OTR? Oh my gosh, you're sounding good way out by Sanger. Normally, I don't get out past, you know, Sunnyside, and that's even difficult. I'm putting the 49 um, check in the box up on the screen, and thanks for remembering this Saturday night place to be. And I don't know if you were out at some uh, uh, 4th of July event, but uh, hope you are uh, do, being safe and sane. Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, definitely are. <laughs> I don't know how much fun that is, but, uh, yeah, Sweet Country Mom and I just uh, decided to go for a little drive. So uh, we found our way out to the country to uh, enjoy the uh, cool breeze of the evening. So uh, we appreciate the check-in and uh, just have to get out towards this direction. Uh, we got to do a good solid uh, of so uh, Excellent. All right. Yeah, isn't it? It's a great day, a great evening. We are not even going to break into the 90 degree area tomorrow on Sunday. Fourth of July should be good as well. So that's where I think a lot of people are is, is out enjoying maybe maybe you're listening in maybe you can't get by the radio but you're tuning into the old tube radio network we're glad to have you along uh thanks brian sweet country mama we've got you both checked in the old tube radio network all right now um let's go back to the station patiently waiting who i believe would like to be uh, number three on my list hello harvey over over Number 20, and for the 4th of July uh, show, I'm going to be checking in my realistic Americana 23 Plus. You know, there were a lot of radios called 23 Plus, and there is one of them, and that is probably, my guess, is going to be one of the rarer radios looking in the rolodex to see if we can get close i've got realistic 
I've got Americana. I've got 23 plus. We're bringing it up. And this is something interesting. This is not what I expected. Um, this is not what I expected at all. Let me get the shot up and we'll go back to you. Okay. Uh, this is a special um, painted radio uh, from Bill. The original cabinet, uh, I believe, was black. And But the front of the radio has a red... Uh, channel dial with white numbers, the TV PA switch, and the, uh, well, we'll call it range boost switch, uh, slide switches, the uh, plastic that you push is red, the uh, realistic uh, Radio Shack logo is red, the word Americana 23 Plus those words are red, and a uh, third of the way up, there's a recessed horizontal line that goes across the radio, and that's in red. So Bill had it painted red, uh, powder-coated. It all matches. There's also a matching D-104 that's not on the radio. It's painted red, uh, most of it, and it was supposed to go with this radio. Uh, the problem was it was one of Bill's four-pin Cobra uh, D-104s with the four-pin plug on it, but the radio actually takes stock a two-pin Amphenol Browning plug. Bill never got around to changing it. So when I acquired these two, I didn't think to change it. So right now, I have a Golden Eagle D104 microphone on it in uh, honor of uh, 4th of July. All right. Well, the, it, that's apropos for this uh, particular old tube radio network. Your description matched my picture except for, I think you said the channel selector was in red. I'm not seeing anything uh, red-like on the channel selector, but the other colors and the realistic logo are there. Um, this is an interesting radio. It doesn't, it doesn't look like any other clone, and I'm, I'm assuming that obviously this is made for, for realistic by somebody. Maybe this is one of those first-generation um, Panasonic's or is it a Cobra or something? It just doesn't have the, the look that I, I can I can figure out. And interesting on the microphone jack that it would be doing that. You really, really sharp audio. Not a lot of low frequencies, but a lot of high-end punchiness. So this would be a good DX radio to uh, cut through when you are less than stellar in the signal department. I'll give you a frequency check on the next go around, but this looks like with the amount of knobs and switches that it might have been a top of the line model. I don't show a price point for it or a date, but I'm assuming this is probably uh, very late 60s or early 70s, but I could be wrong over over. Okay. Uh, it's, in, it's in Sam's PhotoFact 12. Uh, 1967, January, and this radio is a clone of the Ico Sentinel Pro, uh, and I'm fortunate to have that radio, not here in storage, but it's basically a clone of the Ico Sentinel Pro, and, uh, Let's see, there was something else I was going to say about it, but can't think of it right now. Um, it's nice. I mean, this is one of the prettiest ones I have, and most of mine aren't that pretty, but uh, this one is. Uh, I found it along with a couple other things. Uh, another radio that I will check in. Uh, as soon as uh, we're finished here with this one, I will check it in. And then my second to the last radio is sitting on the shelf that I've got to haul over here. I'm going to check it in, too, because it's 100% uh, 
American like this. I think he's talking about my trash can special. All right, well, the Sentinel Pro. Okay, I should have guessed, because that's a top-of-the-line radio. And um, Jim, uh, 97 Boston, also uh, chimed in that that is the, indeed uh, the same as the Ico Sentinel Pro. Jim, I will get you checked in, 97. Thanks for uh, joining us tonight. Uh, looking good also. Let me, uh, Bozo Control wants to give a honk out to um, Captain Robert, who is uh, on the mend and feeling good tonight. We're, we're glad you can uh, join us. Have a great uh, safe and sane 4th of July. Well, um, Harvey, it's, it's sounding good. It is a, a classic radio, the uh, Sentinel Pro. I knew it had to be made by somebody, right? Somebody somebody had to get in there and make that, so doing good. If you're still there, take a transmission. I will give you, and you already know what it is, but I'll give you the uh, confirmation on the frequency. Over. Okay, it should be... That's interesting. Uh, oops. I'm trying to keep things keyed up. Interesting. Yeah, there's a hum. It's not super bad, but it's there. And the modulator, it makes your audio a little louder, but it doesn't really increase the signal all that much. The, the, the radio itself has a good forward movement on the um, on the audio. So the range boost is actually not... I, you know, during skip it's helping, but it's really not doing what it should do. There's something, like you said, that radio does not like... Uh, the range boost. Uh, check the frequency. Frequency is close. You might be 50 cycles low. When if I go to uh, sideband, you're right there. I don't have to. Um, I don't have to touch uh, much of uh, anything on that. Um, let's see. Oh, and there was a question. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to see if I uh, got the uh, thing. We're, I'm going to ask you about a plug for radio, but I don't know which radio it was. I don't remember. So you'll be here, and I will make sure that I ask you. Um, Superloop says, is that the uh, uh, era that Tandy bought up Allied? I'm going to say at 1967, I'd have to go back and look at their catalogs and see if they were calling themselves Allied Radio Shack or Tandy or all three, but that's about uh, that's about uh, right. So it, it is it is working. Um, no, I, you don't even really need the range boost, over. Okay, uh, this is the modulator. Now the modulator's off, uh, but the range boost I just switched on. Range boost is on, and now the range boost is off. Okay, okay, there isn't that much difference on the range boost. There's definitely now with the modulator, that does help. But you did something before, and it added, it added the buzzing uh, to the audio, so I'm not sure. So it plays well. It plays well by itself, and it plays well with others. Over. Uh, that's what we like to hear. Okay, I'm gonna fire up another one. Thirty-seven. All right, to doing good. Your old tube radio network, Radio Three, the Realistic Americana 23 Plus. And uh, some of us, some of you pegged it right. That is the um, clone of the Ico Sentinel Pro. And are the jingle singers? No, let's take the radio. Let's take the radio first before we go to, to the uh, jingle singers. Hello, Chris. Hey, hello, Dennis. I could swear he was talking about my trash can special. I really could, but, but I know it's his own. So anyway, it's, it, was, it was a lookalike, but it sounded dang good over here. Anyway, Dennis, I would like to check in this old tube radio, if that's possible with you, okay? 
you know, that's why they don't pay me to sit in this chair to make sure that I check in as many radios as possible so you can help me keep my uh, job as net controller by taking a transmission. Go ahead. And of course, get a cookie once in a while. All right, Dennis, I want to check in my general radio telephone, the Super MC11A 24 channel tuber. And of course, you got the little old man in the wheelchair up there with his IV thing hanging next to him right there. And we're running this here with a handheld stock microphone. I do believe it may be uh, the original over. Could be the original uh, GSW, like in the GRT. The MC11 didn't have the logo on it. They did some fixing. And so somebody, I, I don't know if that logo shows up on any radios before that, but <clears throat> somewhere somebody came up with that that logo. Almost looks like some type of an electronic symbol, like you'd have on a schematic, maybe maybe that's why they did that. As always, the super good audio without even trying. You know, without even having to, to to get any extra audio flavor, the radio just does it for you. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> no, it's still working. It may it may take a licking or not, but it is definitely a keep on ticking. The local range control, the HF tone in and out, the bullhorn. Oh, and the radio and the bullhorn. So, have you ever hooked a speaker, a loudspeaker up to the back? And, and turned on the bullhorn, you know, and set it out on the on the, on the, the front patio and, and talked to the cars driving by saying, Citizens, do not be afraid. You know how they used to do in all those Godzilla movies? Uh, no, I haven't thought of it, but, uh, you know, I, <laughs> you never know. All right, it is our radio... Oh, I didn't even mark it yet. Our radio number four... Um, is there anything else we can import about that radio that we don't know? A general radio telephone, that is nine tubes. We had a ten tube, so somewhere it's missing a tube from one of the other radios. But it's got the ones they need, the 12AX7 and the audio, the ECLL 800. I don't even know. I don't even know if you can get those. <laughs> Take good care of that ECLL 800 modulator output tube. Over. I will do my best. All right, it's sounding good. If it's intermission, thanks for joining us on the old Tube Radio Network. And uh, you know what? You are good to go. Okay, well, I will be back with my other. Okay, so the old Tube Radio Network, the jingle singers are amassed in front of the ribbon microphonium. And we will be back in uh, moments on your old Tube Radio Network. <laughs> How do you do? Ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you. Wherever you are, the friendliest nation for you by far is known to all as OTR, the old tube radio network. The station for you is OTR. The old Tube Radio Network, Real Radio is glowing in the dark. Thanks for joining us uh, since, I don't know, 1985 or 86 on Saturday evenings at 8 p.m. Pacific time. We are out here chatting it up with the Tube Radios. Originally, it was a place to get on the air. Well, a few of us joining, uh, you know, jumping to this channel because both of the old Tube Radios had a channel 11 crystal just to get on the air and, and talk just like we used to do, or we're supposed to do. Um, thank you, GSW. 3501 West Burbank Boulevard. I always say when I'm in uh, Southern California, I'm going to Google that, do a little direction thing, and see what see what has happened to the general radio telephone plant over there at 3501 West Burbank, in beautiful downtown Burbank. We are listening for radio number five. I have 37. One, two, three. 20. 37, 60, 20. All right, 37, 60, and 20. Do we have someone else? Oh, 135, 40. And did you get 37 in there, Dennis? Yeah, then we've got uh, 45 and 135. Let me see if I've got, I'm, I'm colored beyond the lines here. So Radio 5, stepping up into the air chair will be Chris. Then after that, we're going to take uh, Joe. And then after that, we're going to get Harvey. And then after that, we're going to get Paul. And then after that, we're going to get Cliff on your old tube radio network. So I'm, I'm sending the... Yes, you can go. I'm sending the Jingle Singers away. Because we, we want to talk radios tonight. It's the 4th of July. And things are hot and popping. All right, Chris, over to you. Take a transmission. 
Okay, Dennis, I'm going to check in my Chris 23 Plus CB transceiver. And we are running this here with the original handheld stock microphone. It even says, uh, Matt, it, it says, what does it say on here? Yeah, it says Chris on there. I had to look down to get my glasses. I'm uh, getting blind in one eye and can't see out of the other, so I just cross them and I can see perfect. But anyway, it's working, and uh, this, this is my Chris 23 over. You know, there are probably a lot of things in the Radio Shack that actually say Chris, but only one of them is a KRIS 23 Plus. Here's the radio. Our earlier radio of the T Berry Model T. This should be a Panasonic clone of that, but notice the Chris does not get all the lights and a lot of the switches that the uh, T Berry Model T did, but basically the same radio on the inside. Sounding good on the audio. I think this has been a good player from you, convection cooling, and it should have the uh, infamous uh, what 12 AX7 or uh, 12 AT7 for the audio, and uh, oh, it's got an AX7 as well and a six BQ5 on the output amp. There is an operator's manual at oldtuberadio.com, but you're doing quite well. Over to you for transmission. Okay. Well, now all we need to do is get uh, Harvey in there to key up his Chris 23. And we need to get Phil, uh, you know, uh, number 56, just for kicks to key up his Chris 23. For the, I know that there should be at least three of us out there, so, well, you know, but, hey, maybe they'll all fire them up one of these days, and we'll get them all to go together like we used to do with the uh, generals. All right, Dennis, thank you, and I know you want to get the other ones in there. Thank you very much, and gentlemen, you guys are all sounding Q5 in my way. All right, well, we, when we have OTR reverse night, when the radios are checking in the operators, we will have Chris 23 Plus checking in. Chris, sounds good, looks good, and thanks for bringing it by radio number five, the Chris 23 Plus. All right, heading over to uh, Joe, take a transmission. You are radio number six, over, over. Uh, thank you much, sir, Dennis. Uh, from radio... World Radio Labs uh, presented me with this uh, Hustler Bass, my pretty blue radio. Uh, seven tubes, eight channels. Back to you, Dennis. Seven tubes. All right, this is definitely a Madman Months radio. We've gone from ten tubes to nine tubes and now to seven tubes. This is the one that's always a little hard for me to find on the Rolodex, but I do have a good picture. Let me see if I got it. I don't have it there, but I've got it right there. There we go. And I will, uh, maybe I can expand that out a little bit for our uh, viewers and listeners. There it is, the beautiful blue hustler. Um, World Radio Labs, maker of fine amateur radio boat anchor gear from Globe Electronics um, back in the 50s and the 60s. And they pulled out as many tubes, to, you know, they didn't want an 85-pound radio, so, so take a transmission. That's how they did it. I think you much, uh, dog on it. Uh, seven tubes. I think it's seven tubes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just uh, uh, maybe a, a little over a quarter of the radio. Uh, the rest is on. Uh, well, whatever. It is, it's in the radio. Uh, uh, nice. Uh, the nice little radio doesn't get very hot. Easy to operate. He yeah, has your volume and your your tuning knob, and uh, and your channel selector, which I was off uh, last week. <laughs> I was on channel 10. Uh, got into a, a sort of a situation with it. Uh, you panic sometimes, and you kind of turn the wrong knobs. Uh, it also has a little squelch, a spotter, and uh, uh, your crystal, uh, your crystal uh, tune. And it also has a little crystal in its slot. It has, I think, maybe channel one or something like that on there. I'll have to look at the old chart there one of these days and and see what it is there. And I think uh, maybe Harvey's holding one for me. Uh, it could be uh, a crystal for this one, uh, Channel 20. But anyway, uh, back to you on uh, my Hustler base uh, with a Turner Plus 3 desk mic. Good audio on the Turner Plus 3 desk mic. It's not similar to the one we're showing. So do you, do you have the blue microphone that goes with it? Yes, sir. Got a little small one, a blue one. Uh, yeah, uh, after uh, I guess Harvey removed that and and uh, put the, the connection for the four pin in front, right below Labs, uh, it uh, the microphone is now sitting there. 
All right, good deal. Well, you are definitely uh, on on channel, on frequency. Uh, the microphone really plays good with that radio. It's a good uh, a good choice. But you're able to, if you want to get the uh, other microphone plugged in. Yeah, I can understand about the channel thing. You've got the separate channel, receive tuning dial, got to spot it in. But sounding good on channel 11 with radio number six, the uh, World Radio Labs, Leo Meyerson would be proud here in the um, 21st century to hear such a great uh, audio, to such a great audio coming out of one of those radios. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Well, you know what? It's fantastic. Uh, it's about oh, probably 12, 13 inches long, only about four inches wide. A remarkable little radio. Uh, besides uh, the 4th of July popping, you know what, Dennis? OTR is popping just as good. Yeah, we're doing good. I want to get as many uh, radios checked in tonight as possible, so we'll uh, hang out as long as there are stations around that would like to get checked in. We will uh, we will do that, dude. And for those that have to uh, drop out early on on tonight, that's fine. There's always you can always catch us on the replay or um, wherever. We'll we'll do the thing. So thanks for uh, radio number six. Um, I am scrolling. Let's see. Harvey should be next. Are you still there, uh, Harvey? Over? Uh, no, I left. All right. Well, if he was here, he would be next on Radio 7. And I'm scrolling through because there was a question. Somebody was asking about a one of the Jones cinch plug type items for a radio. And I haven't I haven't found that, that post again. But kind of wanted to see if those exist or if you had any experience into oh yeah you can get those if you go to um you know whatever if you go to ebay somewhere but anyway we'll we'll find that in the meantime let's go back to you you are radio seven and is always sounding good on whatever your choice is over okay uh this is me number 20 uh this is my robin t240d uh i knew i had one somewhere and when I went looking uh, for the Americana uh, plus, 23 Plus, I found this. And I go, oh, well, that's what you do. When you want to look for something, you look for something else. And then you find what you're not looking for. I, I Okay. Anyway, uh, I found the Americana 23 Plus, and I found this. Um, I haven't worked on this or anything, uh, so it's the way it is. Uh, 10 tubes, uh, I don't know if it's, I think it's 10 tubes. The last couple radios were all the 10 tube, two transistor type. Uh, amplified D104. Yes, my modulator is on because I want to make sure Paul hears me. And the range boost or range expand is off. Uh, Now the range expand is on, and I guess I'm humming all the way through. Although I don't see it on the mod with the mod light or the meter, but you'll let me know. I just turned it off. Yeah, I pull up the S meter, and now you get a little bit more uh, uh, output, but I think the audio actually suffers. You've got a little too much. It starts to get that uh, bass tip up and a little fuzzy around the edges, and I did not hear an AC note at all. If it was there, it was very, very low, so it definitely puts your audio up, but you are so loud and so clean uh, on the normal way that you do not need, at least the way the internal item is set up for the radio. You uh, don't need a range boost. Wait, what a pretty radio that is. If you like yellow, uh, a good good design with the yellow insert colored on the knobs. And, of course, uh, it is the um, Panasonic chassis. I don't know. You might know this. If they, between the 23 channel and the 40 channel, if they beefed up any of the other components besides just, you know, putting in a PLL chip or whatever they did get at 40 channels out of They just left everything alone, which I think would be a good thing because they always work well. Well, I believe they did. I turned the D104 down a bit. Uh, I have to change it based on what radio I hook up. Now, this is uh, 
uh, Robin T40, uh, T240D uh, it should be wired Robin, but this did come uh, from Bill's shop, and I don't know if it was his personal radio or not, but it was at the shop, and it's wired uh, a 4-pin Cobra. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, my Robin uh, T123B is stock Robin uh, wired microphone plug and all. Uh, that one's wired uh, per the way it should be. And uh, this one's 4-pin Cobra. I know that because I plugged the Robin mic in here. It didn't work. Uh, anyway, I've got uh, two more, so I'll shut up and let the other guys on there and then get to the other one. Yeah, we've got uh, Paul coming up next and Cliff after that. And there was a question about a uh, the plug on the Polycom 2. I don't know if you're familiar with that or if you've uh, serviced any of those. But someone either someone's looking for one or maybe uh, it's it's available. It's like, oh, that's the something something plug and you can get it where. So if you're familiar with uh, with the Polycom 2, I guess the power plug on that, give us a shout when you come back. But you're sounding good. I know you will come back. All right. Um, the old Tube Radio Network, we are... Who's next? Oh, Paul. SWL45, I hope you can still hear me. The the skip is being nice for us here in the Central Valley because usually about this time we start getting the um, the gray line out of the Pacific, but I'm not hearing a thing. So maybe, as a Super Loop said, we've got some potential for clouds on the short hop. Uh, hello, Paul. Yeah, it's a pleasure to even have to wait. I'll tell you that. Anyway, I'm checking my score, Model E. All right, let's let's take a blast from the past. Let's go back. It's been a while since we were back to uh, the uh, early, the mid '60s, and the sonar radios. Talk about uh, another uh, sleeper radio with really good audio. And I don't know if those were if they were already doing the six BQ five audio on those or not. Uh, what was the letter on the model? Was that Echo over? It's a Model A, and this is the second one they made in 1962. Which one they had a little problem with it, I guess. So they pushed the tubes up like that, brought it back down in '62. I know for that for, for a fact. And nine two eight transistor crystals and all that. It's got that gigantic microphone on the thing. I love the picture on it. It's been in your hands this fine. You know what I'm talking about. Back to you. Yeah, was it... I can't remember if it was JT or a Crazy Bob that calls that the piece of toast. A microphone about the size of a piece of toast. And, yeah, there's... I'm, I went to a radio, but that's not, that's not the one I'm looking for. Let me go back to the... Uh, Really nice picture that uh, Cliff put up of the sonar Model E. I like the radio. It's, it's, it's very sort of mid-century modern, uh, cool looking with the with the insert little X sculpted out of the knobs. Almost look like they're ivory. Uh, eight channels. Um, channel 11, of course, always in there. Um, that's why we're here on Channel 11. And nice big front firing speaker. Doing a good job for uh, radio number eight, and uh, glad we can get a sonar on the air. Back to you. Okay, yeah, uh, next week if everything works out right, I, I get some more. I've been tracking dust and back to major dust. Okay, so I'll stop it at that. And thank you, thank you, and uh, All right, and just, just for one more transmission, I'm showing uh, Cliff has the external... Those radios like Halicrafters did had a spot where you could put an external meter, and there actually was a sonar meter that came with it. Do you have any of the accessories? Do you have any of the sonar accessories over? No, oh, I sure wish I had that thing. I see it up here. I, was, I guess you pressed that one with the external speakers, not speaker. It's a, it's a, it's a meter of the thing. No, I don't have anything on it. It's just a plain old radio. It does have the, the regular... Uh, all right, no, it's doing a good job. And a good signal. I don't know, I, my uh, signal strength looks down, but it's, it's all relative, so I may have some uh, setting on the radio that's not, that, but you, not right, but you are 
um, well over the noise. Actually, my meter is, is it's doing weird things, chopping off the top of it. Thanks for Radio 8. That's the Sonar Model E. And uh, <laughs> Uncle Herbal saying, it looks like it belongs on the dash of a B-19. And maybe uh, the designers, uh, he or she, uh, flew a B-19 back in the day and said, I've got, I've got a perfect uh, way to make our next radio pop. All right, the old Tube Radio Network, we are here, and um, let's see. No, I'm, I'm sending the jingle singers away again because we have yet one more radio. Hello, Cliff, over. Uh, hello, Dennis. Uh, over. Uh, uh, over. All right, take a transmission. I've got the uh, number nine slot ready to go for your uh, old tube radio. Over. Wow. I- am I a little high in frequency? Uh, uh, my uh, frequency meter is showing I'm pretty high. Oh, well, uh, as long as you're hearing me. Um, from beautiful downtown Burbank, California. I hope Chris is listening. Uh, this is my uh, general radio telephone, Super Master Control 11 Alpha. Uh, back to you. Okay. No, in fact, I just did the quick zero beat, and you are just a little bit low. Not much. But just a little bit low. Let me... Let me bring the picture up. All right. Well, okay. Speaking of, of celebrities, now we have we have operator celebrities that stop by. Here's the radio celebrity that's uh, stopping by. Let me get the picture. This picture that we show just about every week, because just about every week we do have a Super MC11A uh, checking in. This says from the collection of Cliff. So I think we are actually getting a chance to hear the radio that we always see. This, is this indeed the uh, the classic uh, Super MC-11A that's uh, sitting on channel 11 with the M, with the GM3 microphonium uh, fixed atop? Oh yeah, it kind of stole my thunder there a little bit. Yeah, uh, as pictured, as seen on TV or YouTube or wherever it is you're watching, yeah, this is the actual radio you're actually seeing in the actual picture of. Uh, and yeah, the mic here uh, is the... Uh, Let's see, uh, how, how would Chris say, the, the uh, uh, plastic handheld non-amplified original general Charlie, Charlie Mike 3 microphone. Uh, I'll get it out uh, sooner or later. Uh, hope it's sounding okay. I haven't checked it in in a bit. Um, let's see, there's 24 channels, as Chris uh, points out, uh, and I think it's nine tubes in this one. Uh, so back to you. Morning. All right, Harvey, we'll get you in as uh, Radio 10 coming up. Yeah, the CM3, uh, it's amazing how well these radios sound with just the stock microphone in. I'm assuming, I don't think it's a carbon mic, probably a ceramic mic, but just great, great full fidelity audio. Um, Good, I I think Chris may have a little bit more bass tones. I don't know if that's the radio or the voice, uh, but... This one is good. It's getting uh, getting some thumbs up. Definitely some thumbs up from the uh, listeners, and it is a good item of interest. Uh, back to you. Okay. Yeah, my uh, no, my frequency counter is screwing up on me a bit. So. <laughs> okay, I will definitely take your word for it on the uh, the frequency check uh, over this thing right now. I can't hardly read it in the dark. Um, uh, everything else looks pretty good, though. I got a pretty good forward swing. And uh, let's see, shall I put a little bit more bass in my voice? Will that help? Uh, I don't know. Um, anyway, yeah, this this one is mine. Uh, unlike Chris's, that one is his. And so I, I thought it's definitely an all-American uh, old-tube uh, CB radio telephone radio here. Uh, I definitely want to get in for Fourth of July because uh, uh, they, they, I, I know that these were manufactured down in beautiful downtown Burbank, California, and uh, I wanted to get it in there on a nice green glowy Channel 11 and uh, uh, see what it can still do uh, watching my modulation. Like I say I haven't had a chance to really go through and check all this out today, um, but hey, uh, it, it's working. You're hearing me, and that's good enough. What do you think? I think it is good enough. Um, 
A radio built like a 57 Chevy, as somebody said. Um, sounding good. Maybe built to put in a tank. Built like a tank. Always sounding good. General Radio Telephone Super MCLA. I, I, MC11A. I believe that was General Radio Telephone's last FCC type accepted radio. They came out with the MC12, but I'm not sure they ever got full uh, type accepted of that. And they're, they're even rarer than the than the MC11A. Uh, listening in from Panama. Hello to, is it Flaquito? Thanks. This is the Old Tube Radio Network. Every Saturday, we uh, listen in for the classic CB radios, and this is just one of them from Operator Cliff on the uh, General Radio Telephone Super MC11A. I did a quick frequency check yet again, Cliff, and indeed you are at 27, um, eight. 27.08485, so you're about 150 low, so pretty close. Yeah, that's close enough for jazz, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, uh, uh, thanks so much for letting me check it in. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't bring this one out nearly enough, uh, so, and, and I, I thought Chris might get a kick out of it, too. I, I just had a feeling he might check his in. I don't know why, but, uh, oh, good Lord. Um... Uh, it looks like the airwolf has decided to uh, do an attack run over the house. Okay, uh, with that, uh, uh, that'll be it for me tonight. Uh, uh, catch you next time. All right, next time on the old Tube Radio Network. And, yeah, it's, it's relatively quiet. I expected to hear um, some uh, cannon fodder or something going on, so... You never know. All right, uh, Jingle Singers would like to do a thing here, and then we'll come back, and I think we're going to be picking up uh, Harvey, so we'll be back in just a moment on your old tube radio network. How do you do? Ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you. Wherever you are, the friendliest nation for you by far is known to all as OTR, the old tube radio network. The station for you is O-T-R. The station for you, you, and maybe even you. Uh, speaking of you, hello, Harvey, over. Okay. Uh, I'd like to check in. Oh, uh, by, by the way, thank you for picking me up. I didn't know how you knew it, but I did fall down, and, and I appreciate you picking me up. I like to check in my uh, general radio telephone, non-Canadian Super MC-11, no A. Uh, this has nine tooth, as does the 11A. Uh, nine tooth, and um, the um, um, heavy-duty metal uh, power resistors arrive. I installed them in both 11, and the receive seems to work fine. It was a negative uh, voltage that had to be maintained, and those resistors cut negative 400 down to negative 110, and based on the resistor I put in, value-wise, it's uh, both radios are at negative 101. Uh, which is fine. Uh, you've got a big range that uh, you can have, but not 400. So uh, when that thing goes, you need to replace it. Anyway, uh, this thing has the uh, stock, plastic, general, Charlie Mike, uh, dash three Mike. And oh, it works great. Uh, I believe uh, I'm keying up at 5, uh, swinging to 22. Anyway, that's just regular tuned on the low side. I haven't tuned it for the high side. Not even planning to. Just going to leave it here. Uh, I have another 11, which might possibly be for sale. Not sure yet, uh, so we'll see. But uh, I'm going to run this for a while and run the other one for a while, make sure they're both working really well, and then possibly the other one might go. We'll see. Anyway, Dennis, uh, I've got one more to do. 
Frequency-wise, I should be almost right on. Oops, just as I was pressing the button to the zero beat, uh, you went away. So we'll do a quick frequency check on the uh, next transmission, Super MC11. Notice the GRT logo. Um, if for those with pictures, there is missing between the channel selector and the S meter. So that uh, lets you know that it's a true MC11. Audio is very good. Um, MC11 audio for sure. ECLL 800. Beautiful downtown Burbank. What, did somebody put the address up on the list? I think it was 3156 something out there in Bullet, Bur, uh, beautiful Burbank Boulevard. Uh, take another transmission, Harvey. I will give you a frequency check. Someone say Burbank, 24 channels that you can see under the controls that had the uh, Civil Air Patrol channel. And you reminded me I wanted to comment on your uh, S-meter. Yeah, th those really have good audio. When you strap the back, and we've seen it on this MC-11A, yeah, you get a little bit more output, but boy, it just mucks up the really good audio. Put up the S-meter, and if you watch the playback, you'll see it. You almost have a, a 10 dB forward uh, movement on on the meter and that's just stock so me thinks that if you try to enhance it with the less than stellar modulator yeah maybe you'll get more uh you'll get more numbers on the meter but it's going to muck up the really nice audio radio 10 uh, 10 is the general radio telephone super mc11 still from beautiful downtown burbank sounding good on your old tube radio network And 60, let me, uh, Joe, let me mark you in as uh, Radio 11 on the queue. And you're already, you're already in the air chair. Take another transmission. Uh, thank you much, Chair Dennis. Yes, we'd like to uh, keep the color going on the, on the radios. Boy, what, a, what an evening of colorful radios. And, uh, oh boy, those, uh, uh, that one Harvey was just talking on, beautiful. Uh, I'd like to uh, check in my Robin 123B on a D-104 uh, power mic. Okay, 123 on the D-104 power mic. I will add the one here. We got a box. So those who are uh, box collectors, got a mint radio and the uh, Robin T-123 box. I want you to take another transmission because the radio, it squealed a bit, and then the audio got... It's un unlike what I've heard. So I think I think it just needs the, the robin needs to spread its wings. Take another transmission. Oh, Roger D. Yeah, it uh, it might be tuned up a little too high. Uh, Bug on it. Uh, uh, we uh, uh, we have uh, a couple of lights on right now. One ex external speaker uh, light is on. That's an orange one. Very colorful little uh, radio with knobs. Uh, colorful lights, and uh, doggone it, uh, I hope the squeal went away, uh, we'd like to finish up here. Hey, there it is, nice green, I guess people would call that green, I don't think it's a blue. Green and blue is sort of subjective, but here is the Robin I was talking about, the 123B, that seemed to be of the Panasonic chassis, it had, it had all, whatever you could put on the front, it got it, all the lights, all the knobs, all the switches, uh, RF gain and a fine tune and the range expand. So must have been 
must have been the, the more expensive of the line, but plays well. Over. Oh, yeah, very colorful and uh, jam-packed with, uh, uh, for being a compact model. Uh, it's kind of small in size. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of good, uh, a lot of nice features. Uh, this one, Dennis, uh, I, I think uh, has uh, 11 tubes. And uh, it is modified, so I've got an extra 10 channels on this one. Uh, yeah, we can have a little fun with this one uh, on the days of uh, skip. But anyway, uh, uh, thank you for letting me check this one in, and uh, uh, it's been a colorful evening. All right, and I'm noticing your audio gets progressively worse on your transmission, so I'm wondering if the battery, um, if that microphonium has a battery, if it's if it's getting bad because it's the audio is starting to degrade a bit as you talk longer so that could be an issue is that battery operated microphone yeah p104 now i just cut off uh i just cut off the jp12 i don't know if that'd make a difference on it uh but uh i uh, i had it on there for a little bit all right no that's a good thought and that would be it but no the uh, audio anomaly is still there on the 11 tube uh, Robin T123B. I know it can sound better, so it sounds like it's a, a microphonium issue. Uh, OldTubeRadio.com has an operator manual. It has a schematic, so you could trace out that uh, mic, mic pen to find out how to get the D104 or whatever microphone you want to put on that radio. It, it is sounding good, albeit I think, like I said, we might need a new 9-volt uh, or something in the microphonium. Okay, well, that's the first thing we'll check out, Dennis. Uh uh, we're going to pull the bottom off right now and put the old meter to it. Uh, we've got a couple of extra uh, nine volt batteries here. Appreciate uh, you letting me check this in uh, and uh, dog on it. Uh, hopefully there'll be another one after this. All right, boy, that transmission was perfect. Nice audio. So I thought maybe you you wrapped the top of the case something. That audio was was good. So interesting. Maybe it just needs to key up a few times. I think I might put a little contact cleaner to this microphone. It sits up here in this uh, top shelf, and uh, it does get a, a skosh a bit dusty up here. Uh, we're always dusting. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do that after we check the battery, just to be safe. All right, safe is a good thing. Uh, here on the old tube radio network, counting and mounting soon, but I want to make sure we get all the radios here on this uh, holiday weekend, 4th of July. Um, where it is late here on the West Coast. It is Sunday morning for uh, many of you. Joseph uh, also saying it's 126 where he's at. Uh, some of you, the sun is coming up probably, and maybe you're watching the replay where it is, uh, who knows, it might even be It might even be next year, but I hope you're enjoying our program. Our tube radio operators are great, spending their money and their time and their uh, radio real estate to keep our collections or their collections up and running so they can uh, join the radio parade here on Saturdays. OTR standing by. And the jingle singers say they are ready. So let's do that. And we'll be back here in just a, a few moments on the old tube radio network. You're tuned to OTR. And your dial reads Channel 11. Right here in. Fresno, California. Stay with us. Old Tube Radio. And be modern. Listening for Radio 12. Now, will this do? Uh, that will do over. Now, I turn the modulator on just so Paul can hear me up in the hills. Okay. Uh, the Browning Golden Beagle R68T68 uh, from Browning Lavatories with the custom D104 with the medallion on the back of the head of the D104. Okay, that should do. Brownings will probably come in last tonight. All right, well, boy, I just got a nice breeze blowing through the window here and it's uh, or somewhere it sounds uh, sounds good let me get the obligatory r68 t68 uh, photo from the uh, brochure with it sitting on the nice draped uh, velvet background also Harvey, are you familiar w at all with the uh, polycom twos for 
got some people wondering about the what kind of plug or where to get a plug for the back end of that radio. But I mean, you see hundreds of radios, so unless you got one there or something, you may not you may not know the back end of the Polycom too. Oh, that sounded lousy. Uh, well, keep the uh, stream up, etc. Give me about uh, five minutes, and I'll let them know. All right. Yeah, we'll be here. We'll be up and we'll we'll see. Uh, the thing they said was like a Jones, the cinch plug, and if if that's available or if it's the standard thing you can order somewhere or one of those, you know, like a rock. Be careful because if you put number one to number two and plug it in, you will have. Uh, we we talked about toast microphones. You will have a toast radio. Uh, the Browning Beagle sounds good. It's Radio Twelve. Thanks. And I was just listening. I've got the volume up high tonight. I'm thinking we might have some skip coming in, but I'm not hearing anything. But again, my ears aren't that good either. You know, I'm with the antennas low. I'm not, not up on a hill or anything like that. Yeah, the uh, power power side. So I'm, I'm assuming it's probably like more, definitely more than four pins. And speaking of toast, Steve, <laughs> Steve says he thinks he's toast. We will see. What whatever happened to Mrs. Miller? We might say good good night to Mr. Miller. That that's bringing back that's bringing back the real old school stuff. Mrs. Jones, we're we're not sure about these things. All right, no, that's that's good. Thanks for uh, thanks for doing that, and we'll see if it's uh, unobtainium or if it's it's available or if we need to know how to do wiring on it or something like that. All right, well that that's a plus. That sounds like it it may actually uh, be exist somewhere, so that's a good thing. Well, you know, I think. Oh boy, that was a bad statement. Um, I should think I have a Polycom uh, 2 or, or whatever for parts, and it might have the plug on it. I'll have to look. I do have a working one. I have the uh, PC 2-6 and the PC 2-12. <laughs> Excuse me. Um... 
and I've got, I think, a two or a 12, one of them, um, for um, parts. Might have the plug. If I have the plug, um, if the guy's looking for it and can't find anywhere else, I can send it to him. Um, anyway, so let me uh, look, up, look it up and uh, make sure. And uh, we'll continue next week. All right, to be continued, as we have said here for uh, quite some time, the old tube radio network, Saturday evenings, 8 p.m. Pacific time, most Saturdays here on uh, 27085. All right, let me um, let me clear that picture, and let me just say, are there any other stations? Because I'll go ahead and clear out of here. Uh, it is late everywhere, including here in the uh, Central Valley of California. Good night to, who is it that was checking out? Uncle Hairball and some others. But I think we want to get uh, off and running. Anybody, anybody else uh, before we sign up? All right, well, we can do that. Uh, do, we have, uh, do we have the fanfare? Every, th- there is so much going on in the green room and the pool and everything else. There wasn't a lot of activity out here, but I think I can I can muster up the uh, fanfare and Mr. Announcer so we can Ladies and get this going. Now for the current OTR totals. All right, the current and final totals. Ah, that is that is one loud audio in my uh, in my headphonium. So let's go to yeah, let's look at the REA meter. Talking about tonight. Oh, you know, I didn't. I didn't even count an amount. We need to know who's on page three. So I'll just. I'll count out loud. Follow along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. On page three and page four, which has all those people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four. 24. So we've got thirteen on page one, seventeen on page two. 16 on page 3 and, and 24 on page 4 for a total of 70 shortwave listeners tonight. 12 radios, the most heard manufacturer was General Radio Telephone. Indeed, um, with three radios. Started off with the Cobra Cam 88 from uh, Cliff, sounding good. I, I don't think I've ever heard a bad sounding 88 checking in to the old tube radio network here. Oh, I do, I do have some. All right, we do have some tea left here. Um, Paul on the T-Berry Model T, 23 channel. I think that's got to be a rare rare item. Don't hear many of those, but uh, it is a nice radio. Thanks, Paul. Good to hear you tonight. Glad we could hear you tonight with all the skip being the way it's been. On the, From the west side, or almost west side, west side, Harvey is closer than he used to be when he was way out on the west side. The realistic Americana 23 Plus. So, uh, good deal. The uh, the Ico Sentinel Pro in realistic clothing for Radio 3. Radio 4, the general radio telephone. I didn't even mark what it was. Super MC11A. Yeah, Burbank Burbank gets the bonus tonight. Uh, thanks, Chris, for Radio 4. He also had Radio 5, the Chris 23 Plus. The um, World Radio Labs Hustler, the Blue Radio from Joe, Radio 6, Radio 7, Harvey on the Robin T240D. Sonar Model E was from Paul. Nice to have a sonar. That might have been our earliest, oldest radio tonight and sounding pretty doggone good. Radio number 9, the General Radio Telephone Super MC11A from Green Arrow. The famous, infamous one of the picture made its appearance tonight. Uh, that was followed by the Super MC11. That's Harvey on his MC11, sounding pretty good. They all sound good. If you can find one of those radios and get it to work, you're going to have, you know, you're going to have something good. Uh, Robin T123B. Yeah, that's our second Robin, right? Okay. So two Robins tonight. Thanks, Joe, for that. And uh, Harvey on the Browning Golden Eagle R68. T68. Browning Golden Beagle. All right, back to uh, back to the radio. Let's get rid of that meter. It's not doing anything. What do we want in there? Just all right. Just just the camera. Uh, I think that's it. So good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully, you'll have a great rest of your weekend. And if you're doing some Fourth of July stuff, uh, stay safe. It's always a great holiday here. Here in the, it's a great holiday everywhere on wherever you might be so 
have fun with it. Hopefully you have a get on the air thing wherever you are at. If not, you can always join us here on Saturdays. We look forward the skip is happening. So look forward to to seeing, talking to some of you who are joining us from afar or hearing other stations say, hey, guess who I talked to? We'll see how that works. Good night, everybody. The old Tube Radio Network. Dennis, got the answer. Oh, this is the I've got the answer frequency. Go ahead, over. Okay. Uh, how, um, did that guy uh, send you a message? Uh, if he's still listening, uh, if he sends you a message, then I'll know he's out there. I'll list somehow. Well, um, okay. Uh, uh, it's a uh, Jones Cinch plug S310CCT. Uh, I think the Jones other stock number is 38331-8010. Anyway, um, while you were talking, I just checked eBay just to see if they had one, and you betcha they do. So if that guy's listening, 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 listening the, uh, to the show, the item the number is... One four one nine nine seven five eight three four five three. At least that's what it says. And I think that's one number short, but I'll do it again. One four one nine. Now it's right. Nine seven five eight three four five three. Now, I think I said it well enough so it's recorded uh, on the show so he can play it back. But one more time, 1419-9758-3453. $22.50, three fifty shipping to me, and you get... Two of them. So if you want to run it AC or DC, you can wire it up. And it's in uh, Sam's Photo Fact, book number two. Number two. Okay. Anyway, thank you, Dennis. All right, great, Harvey. Thanks so much. Keeping up with the Jones Cinch Plug, or the Cinch Jones Plug. And there are stations all over America that are dialing on their phone, one four one nine nine seven five eight three four five three, and getting that little beep, 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 you know, this is an incorrect number. No, that was not a phone number. That was, a, what was that? Was that, a, that's an eBay number, right? Yeah, that's the eBay item number. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now, and if the guy goes, oh, I gotta get it tonight. No, you don't. Uh, the guy's got at least a quantity of, so far, uh, 14 sets of two. So, uh, it says 12 plus available quantity, two items per lot. In fact, uh, I ought to do it too. But anyway, no, uh, I've got uh, plugs for my radio, so I'm okay. In fact, I think I have one extra on the parts radio, but I'd have to find that. But anyway, these are new, supposedly. New old stock or new? Anyway, uh, that's about it. And uh, it's the female plug to go on the back of the radio. There you go. All right, good deal. Boy, the uh, fireworks are starting out the window here, so I'm going to have to jump outside and see what's going on. All right, thanks. Uh, it is recorded, and if it comes back, we will uh, find some items of interest. Uh, what else? I think that's it. So we will say 73. Good night to everybody. Um, if you missed something, we've got the replay. We always archive. There's an audio archive that's at the top of uh, the oldtuberadio.net. I think it says archive. You bring up the old TUR magnetophone and search through all the dates, and you might find something. If I 
if they keep it up to date. All right, 73 from your... Uh, thanks again, Harvey, from your old tube radio uh, network. And the break OTR, go ahead, over, over. Hey, good to hear your voice. You know, I thought maybe you had checked in earlier and I missed you. We got you proxy checked in. In fact, I will bring the, uh, on the video, because we're still streaming here, I'll go ahead and bring the system back up and officially put the SW, for archive purposes, put the uh, SWL 53, let me get the right number here, uh, on the board so we know the legend has indeed uh, been the legend. Thanks, sir. Thank you, Arizona. You have a happy 4th of July. I appreciate it. 73 is I'm back wide. All right, that's a, that's a good word. Going back quiet. I think that's what we'll do here on the old tube radio network. Uh, good night, everybody. Radio Rapid saying 73s and likewise 72 plus one from your old tube radio network. Thanks, Dennis. Happy fourth. Be safe. 73. All right. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, you know, there, it sounds like there's a, and someone else mentioned this, there's maybe a bad contact somewhere, even, either in the radio itself um, in the radio itself, because it starts good and it goes, or it's, it goes and then it comes back, or something in the microphone. But it could be in the radio if there's contacts. I don't know if the if, if the Robins of the Panasonics use contacts. Because sometimes you can you can you know shout, you can add add a little audio, and it it, it jumps the thing in there. So sounds like it's going to be uh, once you find out which. Spot is bad and easy fix with a little bit of cleaner or uh, cleaning device. Okay, Dennis. Yeah, we've got the mic uh, ready to come off, and uh, we're going to start going through it. Okay, thanks, and uh, good night. Okay, and I guess the thing to, to check with the mic, if you've got the stock mic for that, you know, play with it with the stock microphoneum and see if it does the same thing. If it doesn't, then you can be, you know, pretty much assured that it is the microphonium circuit somewhere. But if it does, then then it is the radio. So you might you might want to try if you've got the regular mic, just you know, give it a couple of times to make sure that it doesn't happen with a different microphone. Okay, good idea. Yeah, I'll take it out of the drawer. Okay, we'll uh, we'll see how it works uh, next week. All right, seventy three from the old Tube Radio Network. Thanks, Dennis. That was a great show. Boy, a lot of check-ins tonight. I figured everybody would be out of the pool and the barbecue, but, uh, you know, we, we have our, what do you call them, our die-hard tube operators that do not let the SWLs down. Yep, that's right. So, that's uh, real good, man. It, uh, the skip went away, and uh, it was time for everybody to play. All right, and a lot of stations listening in, in online and on the video from all over who are very knowledgeable give us good uh, comments as well. So hopefully, like I said, the, the bands are going to be good. I really look forward to having either some of the stations that we can't hear jump in or maybe catch them, uh, you guys, on 38 Lower. I know uh, we've, got, we've got, here in the Central Valley, we've got some big stations that uh, beacon out pretty good, so uh, 38 Lower might hear us from uh, from the Central Valley. All right, I'm going to jump out of here, and we'll catch you next time. All right, 7-3. Great signal. Uh, big improvement. Whatever you did, I don't know what you did, but it was a big improvement. You know, I've been finessing. I, I, I added a coax ballon in line. I think that helped a little bit with stray RF. I know my RF issues, uh, you know, the bad RF gone away and and actually just not over try not to overdrive everything but uh i i still am super deficient in the antenna height and antenna department because i can see my swr doing funky things so at some point you know i'm gonna at some point i'm gonna find that that dude to climb the big tree and we're gonna we're gonna shove up a <laughs> an antenna up there or something without injury to anyone and uh, maybe it'll play for a while until it blows away. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. That'd be a good deal. I made a couple contacts on 6-meter today, Colorado and I can't, oh, man, what was
was the other one? Oh, that had a five and a four or something. But uh, Colorado, maybe, maybe it was Missouri or something. But yeah, a couple contacts on uh, six meter today. Yeah, I know, and 6-meter plays a lot like 11 is doing. When we get that, the signals are there and then they're not. When 6-meters is really running you, all of a sudden it's like, man, there are 20 no, they're 20 to 30 over, and then they're just gone. The cloud goes away. So 6-meters is fun when it's open, and it should do, I mean, we're at the bottom, we're starting up from the bottom of the cycle, so it should get really good here in the next couple of years. So time to get your lawn chair 6-meter antenna uh, up and running. All right, uh, 73 all. 73, take care. Hey, Dennis? Uh, this is the basic Dennis, over. Uh, this is Mr. Rude. Hey, all right. We'll get, you know, gosh, the stream is still up. All right, I haven't shut anything down. So I will go back. I will go back. We'll go to 131. We'll get it on the official chart. And I'll put the uh, proverbial check, the X in the square. All right, you've got it. All right, thank you. Good night. Mrs. Calabash, Mrs. Jones, Cinch Jones, Quincy Jones, all those Jones. We're out of here. All right. All right, I can't resist. Before I pull the stream down. Before I pull the stream down, let me... Let me see what's happening. Let me see what's happening on the bands. There's 20 meters. Listen to that FT8. You know there's got to be some voices here somewhere. Let's see if we can find somebody. Let's see if we can find somebody at 20 meters here. Oop. Oh, let's get the right antenna. All right, let's get the 20 meter antenna. Well, uh, one fire scientist has forced us a lot. 20 meters at night. The band is... Cycle 25 is looking good. I was here in Spain last night. Nothing super loud, though. Uh, Just that guy right there, 14 to 18. Them and, uh, I, have, I like the trees too. And, uh, uh, some of them are pretty good size. Like said, this is on a vertical, 20 tall. meter vertical antenna. And, uh, I uh, have a bow in there. Talking about typical ham guy, talking about put up a tenna. This is Kilo 2 in Lima. Anybody else? A Kilo 2 in Lima, special event station. Over. Hey, there's a special event. Kilo 2 Lima. Where do you think Kilo 2 Lima is? Uh, Victor Kilo 2, Quebec, Quebec. Thank you very much. You're 5x7, 57, into South Carolina, QSI. South Carolina? Yeah, uh, Victor Kilo 2, Quebec, Quebec. So there we go. I should be on 20 meters checking some people in. We'd hear all those... Maybe we get Kakalaki. Uh, 13 Colony Special Events, July 1st through July 7th. K2L. So that's what we're hearing there. All right. Is that it? I think that's it. Let's go. Nope, nothing there. Nothing on 15. 40 meters is... 40 meters is pretty awful, as usual. Quickly on 40. Oh, I just tried to do that a couple of times. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, I missed that place up there. That was cool. cool. Destination unknown. Seclusion. Be able to go ahead and do what you want. One that station. Here you could have probably shot a gun and no one would have cared probably about it. Probably a West Coast it. guy. You know, light up fires and stuff. And that was what I was talking about earlier. You know, here with the fire zone that we're in here, you know, all the uh, yeah. fields, all the... You know, all talking about... Fourth of July stuff. You don't hear any AM guys. Let me see. On uh, 75 meters. 
I I got uh, yeah. So anyway, all right. You didn't get it. You don't know about it. Lots of noise. All right. That's enough, gang. Catch you later on your old tube radio network.